Hopefully. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Are everybody. That? We're Drew's just trying to... Nope. Okay. Toronto's Toronto's bad server. <laughs> no. Ian? Hello? Do we get up? Hello? Hello? Are we live? Do we have drop frames? I think we're good. I think we're okay. We okay? Hello? Are our fans still here? Holding on to hope? Nope. Hello? 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 Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. I didn't see you come in. Hello, we're back again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so should I explain why I'm losing my mind over this? Yes. yes. Okay, so <laughs> this ad basically has a picture for an add-on part for my Genesic Gal Geiger. Which he doesn't have. Which I don't have, and I don't know how to get because these add-on parts that are like this are really fucking hard to find sometimes. So I may, oh, I'm gonna have to, oh, I'm gonna have to go to Reddit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to Reddit, get this thing fucking translated. The deep, dark recesses No, because Reddit. if I go to Reddit, that's not the problem. If I go to Reddit, get this translated to a Gal Geiger or a giant robot thing, someone will translate it, go and buy it, and that'll be one less that I'll get. <laughs> I'm better off, see, I'm not, I'm not saying villainy. I'm not saying, oh, you're good creepies and shit. No, no. Some smart ass motherfuckers be like, oh. We should turn down the gain. It's just, We're it's peaking nothing. pretty hard. Here, I'm going to turn down the gain a smidge. Okay. Uh, and I'll have to get this on fucking eBay. Talk normally? Hello, yeah, I'm talking hello, normally. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, chat, chat. What are we building? Hello, Carino Prime. Hi, Is this Mr. gain? Ryan. No, that's volume. Where's gain? Hi, is Mike still raging? Yes. I just, I've, I've gone through the There's phases. gain. All right. Talk normally. Hello, hello, hello. It's so heartbreaking. Hello, 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 hello. Now be angry at something. Mike, you need to be angry. I, why do I have to be angry? <laughs> How about now? Hello. 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 Okay, hello. Jan Fellow, you said you just had some frames okay, drop, cool. but we haven't gotten the alert, so it might be on your end for that one. I right. knew it. I knew it was the pink one first. Okay. How's the uh, How's the sound now? It's almost like Cow Geiger encourages hot blood in this. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't uh, that a thing? <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's what I was afraid of. He yells, young fella. Oh man. So, other than Sam and her uh, burgeoning Japanese skill, does anyone in chat know how to read Japanese? I don't Japanese. have any candy! <gasps> There's no candy! I don't, Sam? Yeah. There is katakana here, and I know you can read katakana. I can read some katakana. Can you try and read some of this in katakana? Ugh. Turn back time. <laughs> Turn back Translates back that, buys entire stock, so I can't get any. Yeah, like Reddit. Uh, yeah, I can, yeah. I can hang on, hang on. That's read a date. It. That's 427. That's April 27. That's not out yet. Okay. Yeah, so it's not I have a chance. Yet. I have a chance. What year? What year? Does it say 2020? Because this came out in 2020. <gasps> yeah, so it's going to come out soon. So, I have to keep but that means that it. these guys are coming out too, which means that we got no... I don't know. Mugen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Big Mike's strange answer has been fun. I'm glad it's been fun. This got eaten by the internet woes. I know a few good options mm -hmm. that would for Cyberpunk 2020. Ever heard of Read Only Memory 2064 or Valhalla? I have Valhalla that was donated to me, and I did nothing but piss on it the entire time I played it because I'm an asshole. Oh, that's a mic. Uh, that's a me. And that's I was screaming at the game the whole time. Uh, screaming at people okay, Jack, how I don't... Jack knows some Japanese, so he can he can translate. You want to hold it up sure. to the camera? No, yeah. I'll, I'll send it to him on Discord. Okay, that's better. All right, so... But I am not here to yell at the things I don't have. I am! Because <laughs> if I was going to do that, I would complain about the fact that Hasbro literally re-released my the Optimus toy I bought, but with a trailer. <laughs> oh, by the way, Dave. Ah! You skeevy mother flippers. What's up? Hi. First of all, I'm going to put this down here, babe, between us. Okay. I know, our child has come between us again. I, again, I, I just can't, I don't know how I have is. something for you. <gasps> it's candy! Ten candy. second gum! Yes! <laughs> Ten second gum. All right, guys, get your timers ready. Oh, I have to save one for Kyle if he comes for craft. Oh my god, yeah. We should announce who our new staff is, I suppose. Yes. So we have D Twitter Live has two new staff members that were welcomed in at a lovely party yesterday. One of whom is Cassie, D Twenty Love Chew, and the other is Dr. Tarawa. So have you gotten any Earthrise figs yet? I don't know. Oh, figs. Yeah, that's 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 the okay, so you want me to explain that one? No no, I keep going on Connell and Cassie. Well they joined the team. Yes. They, they're apart now. They need a little more fanfare than that. 
Connell, Dr. Terawatt himself, yeah. and Cassie of D20 Love have joined D20 Live. Yep, as full-time staff members, and they will be pro uh, getting in on more games, joining us, having fun. They are both cool beans. Yep. Uh, also, uh, should uh, uh, how much of the schedule have we released? Uh, just for just months. for this, this okay. Month. Next month will be another double. We'll be I'm another in the double. GTA. If anybody should have a stable connection, it's me. Sorry, D twenty love. That's her Twitter handle. Yeah, uh, uh, safe hand. Uh, I, I I don't know if she has a brand all to herself, but she has stickers. So I kind of think she has a brand. <laughs> We she need stickers. It legitimizes us. We have Le legitimizes us. We also have T-shirts. Yep. Limited run buttons. So get yours now. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we hit a con. Hasbro loves to screw over fans of their IPs. Yes, they do. So if you're asking my opinion on the Earthrise figures, they're all fucking gorgeous. Yeah, we're still dropping frames. I think it's just. I think also, it's just, but it's less though. Yeah. While you're doing that description, get your timers ready. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> sixteen seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Japan, on your fucking moment of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so they had to fight to death with the other potential new members, you know, since they're humming Duel of Fates. Yeah, that's how that goes down. Um, no, no, we still have all our staff. I'm pretty so sure. So, Colin and Cassie, you need to give an initiation. I'll get the oranges ready. No. The initiation was the party. They passed by being cool. Um, I'm currently hunting down an Earthrise uh, Starscream. Good luck, Rob Hagen. I hear there's a lot of those. So, it's not me. I'm going to explode if I keep shifting paradigms like this. No, we just dropped a couple of frames. Yeah. But it's it hasn't gotten worse for now. But I think we're just gonna stick Ooh, with this. I think it's just because of the fact that our internet provider is just dumb and yeah. we. Uh, yeah, Canadian know. ISPs are not great. No, they're not. Uh, I don't want to say any more because they could be listening. They technically are, but I don't think they're paying attention. Yes, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> I had to rehost stream. All right, it's been stable since I restarted my browser. That's good. What is it? One um, knocking on wood, Jan Philip. All right. Yeah, I am doing up the plot for Cyberpunk. The rough framework is done. I still got to do the descriptions. Most of the enemies are going to be from the core book, which means I don't have to put them in the Patreon notes. I just have to list the page numbers, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. How As is for, this supposed to stay? Oh. With hope and love. With hope and love. When you ask, if you want someone to stay love same, and the pieces. you ask. It's called reciprocity. <laughs> Apparently, Japan's closed its schools for the entire month due to a certain illness that a certain world leader claims to be a hoax perpetuated by his opposing party. Yeah, yeah, I fucking heard about him calling it a hoax. Jesus Christ. Jack Wad. Like, it's it's not a hoax, it's a disease. It's just if you handle it, it becomes a less of an, uh, an Ebola virus and more of a, oh, hey, we dealt with it. I'm very mm. confused. What is this supposed to, how is this supposed to work? How what? He didn't call, or... he didn't call coronavirus a hoax. He called the attempts to blame him for it a hoax. Oh. No one blamed him for it. That's the that's the problem. Well, I'm sure someone on Twitter did, but you just shouldn't listen to Twitter. Oh, that's... Oh, get. Jesus. Kevin Sig, my guess is that it was the original script that cut out for time. Uh. Where's C? <laughs> yeah, so our thoughts and prayers go to the lovely people of Japan as we refill And their, China. And China. As we, and we refill their coffers by <laughs> buying their little tiny robots. Who makes any takes on the fur eye model wind blade? The who? <laughs> what? what? Uh, the, the wind blade the, with the ass. With the yes! Well, I don't... Okay, here's the thing. I don't care. You guys know me well enough to know that I like attractive looking drawings of women. You know that. Yes. I do too. Yeah. I have a pulse. Yeah. <laughs> the, but that being said, there are people out there who see Windblade more for her character than they do for any sexuality potential they have. Mm -hmm. The second Furai Toys gave her design to a hentai artist, Whoa. they got exactly what they paid for. Oh boy. And while the artwork of it does look good, and because I'm not going to shit on a hentai artist for doing hentai artist work, because it's like yelling at a dog for hunting down mice. It's just what it does. Right? 
Dog? Mice? I do think <laughs> the entire dialogue about it has gotten stupid. Mm-hmm. And I, I get the people who say we all, Fur Eye Toys has not done hypersexualized figures. If you're going to do that, you might as well do every guy, which is a fair argument. Uh, and you mean fair, the Hawkeye Initiative? Yes. I don't. Oh, um, the Hawkeye Initiative was uh, effectively was hypersexualizing okay. male um, uh, Marvel. Uh, you know the Marvel movie posters, how they have you know oh, all, the, all yeah. these super uh, yeah. masculine poses for the men, and, and then Natasha with her ass, ass standing back backwards and a broken yeah. spine. Yeah, yeah. So the Hawkeye Initiative was uh, based off of uh, a behind-the-scenes photo yeah. of uh, Jeremy Rayner mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, they called it the Hawkeye Initiative, and. Uh, yeah, it really should be done to take the piss out of a lot of uh, uh, hypermasculine. I want to see the Doom guy in uh, in uh, Hawkeye. Well, people are doing drawings for it, right? And they're um... although I love Isabel uh, being best friends with the Doom guy. Um, but yeah, that's my entire <laughs> take on it. And I and I get that argument. I, I completely get that argument. And to be fair, the mangaka, the the mangaka who did uh, the the artwork of Windblade has done super sexualized versions of Transformers. Because there is a Megatron that this per- this artist has done. He's got that, abs. That looks like down, like they're like he's down to fuck. Um, he did he, 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 he uh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh, like I get the argument. I'm not as upset about it as everyone else is for obvious reasons. Because I, because I'm like because there's no point in being upset. There's no point being that upset about it. Because if I don't want it, I won't buy it. But I get why people are like we want it. We want a Windblade to be properly represented. As much as I get people saying yeah, but I like tits and ass. And it's just an it's just an ugly argument from two different perspectives, and maybe, everyone thinking they're being attacked. Maybe Windblade uh, doesn't want to be slut shamed. She's a fictional character, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and l- the problem is too, like Anne of Green Gables. Yeah, because she doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> the problem Sorry, is, <laughs> and it's up to you whether or not you think it's a problem. There is a market of guys who like sexualized fictional characters. There, that's a real thing. Whether or not you think it's horrible, that's up to you. I'm not here to throw that kind of a stone. Um, what I do with my hands in the, the dank, dank darkness of my own home. <laughs> yeah. Fitting names aside, I've seen some disturbing saucy stuff of Knockout from Prime. Mm. And people, and yeah, when it's just a cool bot, says Rob Hagen. Babe, we're still on the uh, Twitch and not the... Sorry. Because I've been dealing with the... Mm-hmm. With the lost frames. Also, so Blair uh, Greenlit, an Ultraman comic being made by Marvel. Yeah, and I just mm. don't believe in that. Um, Ultraman. But yeah, that's that's my opinion on it. It's You have people who really like uh, their characters being sexualized. You have other people who don't. And it's predictably degraded because people don't know how to have a good... Uh, having Being able to have that discussion healthily. I don't know. I kind of think the fight between I want female characters that aren't sexualized and I want literally all the female characters sexualized also being attacked has a pretty clear correct and incorrect side, but that's just me. That's fair if that's your opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, not going to jinx it by invo- invoking the problem again, but by name, but things seem to have mellowed out. It does, because people are moving on to the next... I feel people are moving on to the next controversy. Um, yeah, Yonfell, there is validity to that. Uh, saying that people saying by complaining about this you're attacking me and that's true that is a very incorrect stance I'm just happy to see Abura owns its rights to Ultraman again yep that is a very good thing next up Harmony Gold <laughs> getting Har- getting mm. Macross out of the fucking hands of Harmony Gold also known as the oh the connection problem also known as what the fuck is Robotech <laughs> piracy according to the creator of Robotech <laughs> there's a reason there's a reason nice. I put I put that the I put that char- that uh, that designer in as a character in Super Robot Wars because fuck Harmony Gold. <laughs> I will never do a Robotech tech game. Sorry, people who are exclusively Robotech fans. Macross is its own standalone thing. But fuck you. Uh, what? Well, it's not just that. There's no storage of female characters that are sexualized. Having a female character that isn't sexualized isn't hurting anyone. That is true, Jan Fell. Mm-hmm. That being said, also wanting to see a female character be sexualized isn't necessarily a bad thing. But like I said, I don't care enough. I don't. I don't care enough. Really, I don't. 
Like I don't. I, I don't do enjoy that. strong female characters. I do too, right? And I get. And I get it. I get it. I get it both ways. I don't agree with the people who are saying by hating on this you attack me. Yeah, because that's just that's stupid. Demonstrably incorrect. Yeah, that's that's becoming a victim uh, for no reason and only hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't agree that they uh, they bullied a girl a lady off of Twitter for having an opinion they didn't agree with. Um, I just I don't care enough. Not for another five years again. And uh, I know Harmony Gold and Tatsunoka made a deal. Cal Malik's dead, but his work lives on. Yeah. Oh, so we're now just we're all just hating on Harmony Gold. But yeah, if if I'm if I'm very passive about this situation, it's because I don't care that much about it. Uh, Bennett Sage came up with the term Valkyrie bitch, and I love those characters. Hmm. Oh, we're back up to 15 viewers as well, which is nice. Hooray, welcome. So, where did I put my instruction manual? Put that knife there, because I don't want to cut myself. Because I value my Okay, so Jack says that the con... Uh, he, can, he can translate it roughly. It's the super minifigure Gyra Rod. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not... I don't think it's out yet. No. Cool. Thank you, Jack. What's the robot on the left? I can only see it from the top. That would be Dave's model. There we go. I might want to take that off the thing, dude, so we don't. It's an armored core yep. model. It. Uh, I. I brought. This is one I made years ago, uh, and I'm just showing it for scale. Um, as to uh, the armored core model that I'm going to work on today, and uh, make some headway on. Uh, they're both Kodobukiya. And, um, there you go. Uh, they, um, the whole line of these, uh, have interchangeable parts. So, uh, they all have the same, uh, joints and whatnot. And I could put the legs of this one on the new one, uh, or vice versa. Uh, it's kind of the, um, the more hardcore version of, uh, the action figures for Armor Core they released a while ago. Which, uh, not a big fan of, but, uh, I bought a bunch because <laughs> I am a child <laughs> all right frames seem to have you now it seems while she gets play sexualized I would just want to hang out with Harley Quinn and play games yeah like yeah. I don't care for, yeah I don't care for Harley Quinn being sexualized but that's just my preference right I kind, way, feel, he, I kind of feel like she started out sexual uh, sexualized though well because well, to be fair Bruce Tim she was in a onesie she wasn't a onesie but Bruce Tim always likes drawing sexualized females right like you can literally buy an art book of his nudes of yeah. his art and some of these characters look like characters he's drawn from the DCU mm -hmm. um, well that's called a style yeah that's a uh, style though right so uh, by the way I've been hip deep in Gundam lore thanks to last month's game revisiting the mecha of my youth Woo. We're gonna shoot that cannon in the face. <laughs> oh, by the way, people, Dave, people were asking. Uh, um, Bruce Tim is a bit of a perp. Yeah, but that's not a crime. If he's an asshole about it, then yeah. yeah. People have been asking what? Uh, why you weren't in the Gundam game? Um, just chose not to be. Yeah. Uh, we have lots of people that would enjoy it, so uh, you know I can't have the screen time all the time. Especially when you're getting ready for Lancer. Yeah, I'm going to be running the Lancer game. September. I actually <laughs> thought... Uh, I actually thought... Fuck your business. The original... DMA series Harley Quinn didn't look sexualized. Partially be the standards of that series. I'm not going to supposed to build stuff and talk shit. Bruce Tim is the reason why he shoved that... Yeah, 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 no. We're talking... Okay, we're growing there now. Um, Bruce Tim is the reason... We uh, got that shoved Batgirl X Batman sex scene, The Killing Joke. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. God, that was annoying. But, like, I still... Yeah, I know. First Tim has not produced the best ideas in the last little while. Because The Killing Joke animated thing should have been a walk in the park and a knockout, and it wasn't. And, yeah, that scene did not help. Now, the Arkham version is nonsense, but anyway... And the most surprising thing to come out of Batman's bat belt is his dick. <laughs> yeah, like, I just... Suddenly, uh, bat dick. Oh, God! I don't know. I just, maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really hesitant to throw stones at people because of what they sexually like. I think that's just it. Mm. I, don't think, I don't think that's a bad stance to have. Well, since you decided to um, release the shackles off of Nauticus... Yeah. Because um, Nauticus is sexual, but he's very much a positive 
Yeah, he was a positive sexual influence. I haven't seen the Killing Joke film. That sounds gross. And it is gross. Everyone agreed it was gross. But the rest of the story, it's pretty solid. Yeah. I hear. I've, I've heard it's pretty good after that, and you're just better off cutting to that. Mm. But I've heard people just go even further and say, no, the whole thing's fucking terrible. Well, that's so, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Better off just reading it, yeah. I'm a fan of Jimmy Pelmoy and Amanda Connors, Harley Quinn. I'd rather not. I hate the Joker. That's fair. You don't like that character. Yeah, oh, hey, there's been a bit of an update from Shout Factory. Sentai DVDs are canceled just on hold. Hasbro was waiting for Saban's name to leave Power Rangers. <laughs> what? Hasbro got the rights to Power Rangers. Uh-oh. And they... No, it's been good. It's good? The Power Rangers fans are actually... They were nervous at first, right? Because it's Hasbro, right? Mm-hmm. And Hasbro doesn't always do the best stuff. But they turned around and said, no, nah, fuck it. DVDs, more toys, go. Let's make money off this stuff. I think. So who's uh, the guy? Uh... Geki can correct me on that, please. Um, Geki, please correct me on it, because Geki knows way more than I do. Uh, Paul Dini is the real brains behind the Batman the Animated Series. That is true, because uh, Paul Dini did mastermind a good chunk of the plot behind that. I'm just getting my screws out. But Paul Dini, I believe, started working on Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. <laughs> waiting for the Saban stink to clear off. Why? It's not like Saban was... Who did? Uh, what, what's his controversy? Uh, Saban is the guy who brought Power Rangers to the U.S. Oh. Um, and depending on who you talk to, he's either the, the living avatar of Harmony Gold or just... Or the guy who brought Power Rangers to the U.S. and saw the money potential. Um, the, a, def, a, a fully established fact, I believe, about Power Rangers. And again, correct me if I... Um, it's a big, uh, yeah, uh, I've got more questions, but yeah, uh, he, um, the big problem is a lot of, uh, Power Ranger staff admit that their time on set was really terrible. Ooh. Um, and the, the thing is, it's never been said who was doing the abusing, mm. um, pe- but inevitably the finger goes back to Saban because producers and people weren't getting paid properly. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Uh, Mike, you're correct as far as I know. Haven't dug that far into it. Well, Gecky, you would know better than I would. Uh, so, Big Mike, how is does it go? Geiger compared to other 3G Mini Plus. I'm still actually waiting for mine to arrive. Uh, the joints are a little bit stiff, but they're pretty good. Neo Saban is the worst Power Rangers. Saban is the 90s Harmony Gold. Okay, cool. I like being right. Because, you know, I don't like to spread misinformation. That's a really nice base they made uh, for this. It's stamped. Sorry, I'm taking up it so uh, much has foot clearance and uh, it's uh, here for a little. That's it. Oh, that's nice. I'm making sure it's on the camera. It's very lovely. Here you go. Plus, I have the right files to make it real nice and smooth and paintable. I don't think I'll be baking much today. I think I'll just be answering a lot of questions and holding up the discussion, which is fine. It's fine. We enjoy your company. Thank you. So, if Hasbro right now has parties, does that mean they have we have a higher chance of crossing over with Transformers? Um, if that's going to happen, it's more likely to happen in the comics lines than it will in uh, in any kind of physical form. Uh, because Hasbro, as far as I've ever seen, has not crossed over in any any of their shows in an animated fashion. Back when they had the hub, and that's when they had G.I. Joe Renegades, Transformers Prime, and My Little Pony all on the same channel, mm-hmm. right? Which, you know, say what you will about that time period. Oh, no, is that a scratch or is that paint? No, it's, it's painted. <laughs> My model kit is fine. No, <laughs> don't fall out. <laughs> no. Um, so if there was going to be a time they would do uh, that kind of a crossover, that'd be it. They are currently crossing over with TMNT. Yeah. Because crossovers are a big thing now, because people saw all the money Har- Marvel made and said, you know what, I like money yeah. too. Plate are you? B plate. B one. They only cross over in the comics, yeah. C- comics are a big place for crossovers right now. So if you want that dream crossover, there's probably a comic of it. Because the... Um, and I don't know why. Also, for those of you wondering, yes, I have seen the Transformer Mazinger crossover, and I love it. That's <laughs> because, no, dude, you don't know what happens in it. So, Grimlock meets, um, arrives first, mm-hmm. and he meets uh, Boss. Right. Oh, there we go. Uh, and he meets Boss, and the two of them uh, from Mazinger, who basically has a giant robot that's made of trash. The nice. Boss uh, robot. And they become best friends and start adventuring. 
Aw, that's, that's adorable. Yeah. Now, while they're off having shenanigans fun, uh, Dr. Hell... Shenaniganry? Aw, that's, that's a harsh name to live with. He, it's his name. He chose it. <laughs> no, he legit chose that okay. name. We don't Mr. know what his real name is. Mr. Satan! Dr. Hell finds the Transformers, lies to them about it, about being a bad guy, mm-hmm. right? And says, no, no, I'm Dr. Hell. And because the Transformers have no concept of hell, uh. <laughs> they're like, okay, there's a human here, and they're fighting a giant robot. Um, uh, they're having a giant robot, so they're fighting a larger robot than we've ever seen that's really powerful. At which point, they're like, okay, so Dr. Hell must be legit. At which point, he immediately betrays the Transformers oh, in front of the Mazinger. Because the Mazinger grabs Bumblebee, and, and he's like, oh, shit, this thing's alive. It's talking to me. I shouldn't crush it, because Koji's a good dude, right? I should love it. And he's just holding it up, and Optimus is like, it looks at this and says, why are we attacking this person who's clearly reasonably defending? And then Dr. Hell takes the shot. And it's like, Dr. Hell, why would you literally turn the Transformers against you? Because it's Dr. Hell. And he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Dr. Hell wins prick awards every day of the week. Nice. Wait, because Hasbro now has the Power Rangers. Doesn't that mean that Wizards of the Coast can make a D20 Power Rangers RPG? That would imply that did- Wizards of the Coast gives a living fuck about anything that isn't a core property. Eberron got one book. <laughs> and it was not big enough. Also, I found out some neat mechanical stuff about some of the early Sentai suits. The light on the Bioman and Mega Ranger helmets weren't added in post. They were built to light up. Neat. Mr. Mm. Uh, Satan. Or Hercule, as the YouTube algorithm demands it. <laughs> I just saw the Revolution Hasbro crossover, and it is glorious. Soundwave is the true hero. Hail Satan. Cool. Yep. I'm sure that will not be misconstrued in the future. Hail Satan. <laughs> Hail. Hail Satan. Do you think they know? Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Yeah, they know. Okay. B1. A. Dragon Ball Z approach is great. Yeah. Yeah, they are. People keep telling me we're never going to get a Dragon Ball Z abridged episode, and I'm like, I'll, be- I'll believe that in two years. Well, you mean how the fact that Dragon Ball Z abridged finished? They say they finished, but you know what? I it was a cash cow. No, no, not that. It wasn't not that. I, well, it, it was a cash cow, but I wouldn't. And that's that's not reason enough for those guys to come back to it because they were doing it for fun before it paid out for them, mm-hmm. right? I'm convinced that I believe. And it is only a belief. It can very easily not be true. In your heart of farts? But somewhere in me, just because I, I watched that conversation Kaiser Neko and Lana Pitar had. And honestly, it looks like it looks like they got burned out by the project. They got tired, they got exhausted, and they needed to do something new. Oh, you poor lady. Your ass is so weird. And I think in a year or two... They might come back and do it, but they need, they do deserve, and they need to do other creative projects. Mm -hmm. They, they, those are, that's a group of people that fully deserve to have a year off and, and mentally, not even like it's in the background needs to be done. Decompress. Yeah. And, but we'll see. I can be wrong. If, if uh, Team Four Star never do a DBZ bridge episode again, I can live with that. Lunacraft Gaming, I have awoken and I have to go to work in two hours. Damn it. Shit, that sucks. Oh, shit. That was burnout number three for Dragon Ball Z abridged. Fair enough. We need a quote box just for stuff, just for you to say stuff like Dave's, Lady, your ass is so weird. <laughs> On the topic of Saban, I find it hilarious that he bought Power Rangers back from Disney because he didn't like how they handled the show, only for him to run into the ground in less than a decade. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Team Four Star Red is pure frothing psychosis about it. Why? I dropped her head. Why? <laughs> you dropped your lady's head? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why would they... Why? Why would you rage at people who give you something creative? Like, I would... Like, why? Why? They lied to us for Patreon money. They literally said explicitly without reservation, Patreon is not for DBZ abridged. Well, I said in their video, if they do come back, it'd be for the short form and not in a full episode form. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Big Mike, would you run a game set in the Dragon Ball Z abridged universe using the DBZ RPG for the late 90s? Yes, with their cast. If someone told me I had Team Four Star right in front of me, and I'm like, cool, we're doing a Dragon Ball Z game. Here's the 90s RPG, go. Wait, are we prepping for Starfinder? No, Dave is making a Starfinder model for his own. Yep. And uh, then I'm making an Armored Core model. They have actual dubs to worry about. That is true. But yeah, like it's... 
why why would you yell at your creators like this? They're not fucking game grumps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are. Oh. I do kind of want to oh, get. Oh, that just, was a shot. That was a shot. I do kind of want to get Soviet Jump Game. Yeah. Have you heard of that one? I've, I've heard. I've all I've heard is the controversies about it because I love controversies. Yeah. I gotta look into those. You gotta, dude. If you ever want to, if you fun. ever want to be so supremely grateful for the D twenty Live fan base and how understanding they are, go to the Game Grumps Reddit. Grumps Reddit. I don't want to go to their Reddit. They sound like. It is no, interesting no, people. They have an argument. They have an argument, right? Mm -hmm. Oh god. And they are relatively reasonable on the internet. I on the, on the internet on the Reddit. I feel people can contest me on that. Um, I'm currently getting my DBZ fix from Masako's channel. Uh, Dave, that make it looks familiar. What is it from? Uh, That's on my court, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one are you talking about? Because uh, otherwise, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's why the whole I stay body. off. Reddit tends to be pure salt. That's why I stay off. I, I think I just got lucky and found good Reddits. You know, or I, you know what it is with me and Reddit. I don't linger on Reddit. I go looking for what I need to find and then leave. And then I leave, right? And then I'm like, cool. I'll be back in like six months. What's up, yeah. babe? No, I was just getting rid of the uh, Jerry John Tron, and just on and on. You can't run to a sweet gaming content producer without discovering how shitty they are as a person. I really hope Aaron is an exception, a friend. Um, I mean, he seems like an alright guy. I don't like. Well, keep, well, keep in mind, neither me nor I have a bad opinion about it because I've never liked Eagle Raptor, but I didn't like him back in his new grand days. Mm -hmm. right? There you go. So that's how far back I go with not caring for the man. And I have openly said, if I'm in the same room as Eagle Raptor, I will slap the shit out of him. Well, that's assault. Yeah, I know. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm aware of the flaws of my lifestyle choices, David. <laughs> the, fl the flaws of my plan. I am aware that, uh... that what I am describing is. Super villainy in its most cheekiest, cheekiest, in the most cheekiest interpretation That's of what I just am. assault. <laughs> Mike, you're talking about assault, but not aggravated assault. It's a light slapping, <laughs> right? Slap and I fully take ownership of that because I hate Eagle Raptor. Not enough to ever harass him in any way, because mm. I got better things to do with my time. But I would, str if you asked me, if you left me alone in a room with him, I would look at him, and if he knew who I was, I'd be like, dude, are you actually going to kick my ass? I'm like, there's a chance, dude, you should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. It's like, why would you hit me? Because now it sounds funny. <laughs> We've met me. D12 was like my favorite internet content producer. Thank you, Rob Hagen. So I got a false... Uh, the Warhammer Hobby subreddit is pretty good. So I got a false impression of Reddit as a whole. D2, uh, just because there are holes in the plan does not mean I intend to see it, send it out to sea. And it'll give me, <laughs> and it'll give me Reddit results when I have a gander and leave. Lol. Finding copies of print D DBZ RPG by Artal is DB Gold. Yeah, that I've heard that the Dragon Ball Z RPG by Artal Soaring Games is magic and failure in the same breath. And I'm, I need to find PDFs of it. Which are probably somewhere, but... Somewhere in the info space? Yeah. I try not to idolize internet personalities in general, nor should you. You shouldn't idolize me. I am very flawed. He is a silly boy. I am. I'm flawed. I'm biased against many things. I don't care for... Sam, what's something popular that I don't care for? Fortnite. I don't care for that. Do you do 5e? Yeah. I don't care for it. Does it make me right? No. no. Wildly well, successful. Yeah. It makes him very confused when people idolize him because he was very confused when I started idolizing him and he was like, what? Yeah, you don't do that anymore. It used to be nice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. How soon do you want the PDF? Same here, Mike. Uh, magic and failure, same breath. The same could be said for George Lucas's film, Strange Magic. Okay. But yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. idolize those of us here at D20 Live. Not even Jordan, even if he requests it. Idolize me. <laughs> Don't listen to this ass. <laughs> I like to be on a lazy. Yeah. Come on. I want hey. people to go all hail Dave. Uh, yeah, hail the Dave. <laughs> it's, it's different for the rest of us. Mike had people say, scream his name at North. He got his fill. <laughs> we don't get that. That hurt. What happened? You I bent a thing and it poked me. Oh, oh dear. Dave. It, it poked me real good. Yeah, there are scan PDFs of the books, Mike, but nothing official as rights lapsed. Oh, okay. That's fair. Oop. 
There, someone has a physical book somewhere. I'm trying to put this lady's knee on correctly. <laughs> oh, I did put it in wrong. I am an incompetent boob. I don't want her leg to fall. You incompetent janky. boob. I'm an incompetent boob. I'm stuck on step one. Books are the real treasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, am I so- uh, sans now? <laughs> you mean papyrus. Yeah, sans yeah, is a deeper yeah. voice. Uh, <laughs> oh man. <coughs> Hail <Hailed it. coughs> Thank you. Damn it, Kanji, why must you be so hard to track down? I love you too, random citizen. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> love, love this room. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie Murphy, er, Eddie Murphy the donkey. <laughs> that was from fucking um, Vampire in New York, dude. What? Yeah. Is Eddie Murphy in that too? Yeah, he was, he played the vampire. Oh my god, now I gotta watch that. Have you never seen that? Is movie? that from the golden age of Eddie Murphy? It's a little after. Okay. Because so what happened was him and good. Wes Craven. Yes, that Wes Craven. Because Wes Craven made two kind of movies: horror movies, which everyone loves, and comedy movies. And what he did was a comedy movie of Eddie Murphy as a vampire in New York. <laughs> I've gotta see this now. Sorry, Vampire in Brooklyn. Thank okay. You. Okay. I gotta see if this is this on Netflix. I don't know. I, I, I will mean, watch I it not, when I get home. I have not heard hide nor tell of it because there's a brilliant scene where Eddie Murphy is painted up as a white guy. Oh boy! Like and it's not the character is painted up as a white guy. Eddie Murphy is a white guy robbing the place. Oh boy! And he's like, "Put your guns down!" And just all he, he robbed a mob. I think it was a mob restaurant and just all these automatic weapons and knives got hooked on the ground he's like there's a lot of love in this room look at this shit <laughs> all right and i only remember that because that was uh, the viewer's choice trailers for the longest time and i would just watch them over and over again so i know that line back to front yeah i'm looking okay. through netflix and it's not coming up it's an old fucking movie Crud. they have coming to america in here yeah and uh oh geez dolomite is my name well, that's actually, I want to see that. I hear that looks, that's really good. Uh, uh what was this, what's the new Dolomite film? The, uh, the, technically, that's it. Oh, the one you're it? thinking of is Dolomite Explosion, which <laughs> wouldn't get released, because... <laughs> I love the names of these movies. Because Dolomite came back from Mother Africa with voodoo powers. I am not making Uh-oh. that up. And this guy's Kung Fu... Uh, I have it on VHS! Oh my god! I know a guy who would probably buy, uh, no, actually, that he wouldn't buy that. He would buy Dolomite Explosion, though. He posted the trailer in the Discord for Dolomite Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Thank you! <laughs> Back from Mother Africa. <laughs> With his voodoo ninja girls. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Dolomite, s- motherfucker! <laughs> oh, that sounds like the best time. Yeah. <laughs> For us, not for like if Art, that happened IRL. People? Well, they're probably having a mild stroke, but that's just you know that. But I do want to watch Dolomite is my name. Uh, Eddie Murphy. I don't think I've ever been so different to a fan favorite comedian's movies before. The man's work does nothing for me, unfortunately. Ah, well, that's I fine. do. I there are select works of Eddie Murphy that I adore. Mm-hmm. Coming to America. Yep. Uh, is phenomenal. I like Boomerang. Uh, what's the one where, uh, he plays the homeless guy and, uh, they make a bet for a dollar? Trading Places. Yeah, Trading Places. I like that one. Uh, I like his, uh, one song music career. Income <laughs> saying PDF pod Big Mike. Thank you, Tipsiller. I hope, as always, it's not pirated. Senzu Bean! <laughs> Senzu PDF. Oh, this is coming along. That's good. I was having trouble getting some of this to go together correctly because I've got giant horrible hot dog fingers. Oh, fine. <laughs> I've got oh my D twenty live ballsy. Yep. yep. The place. problem is the guy I would ask, I wish to God I could get Ant Fish hmm. first stream, but he said no, and I respect it. Yep. But yeah, I would do if I could get the team four star guys. And I'd be like, I will GM you through an episode of Dragon Ball Z. What's gonna happen? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Then you have to find the frames to make it look animated. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? What do you guys want to be? I've like, always wanted to be Krillin. <laughs> why? Wait, before or after he marries 18? After. All right. Okay, <laughs> we all want to be Krillin after he marries 18. <laughs> he finally Are you gets not back. Yeah. 
Oh, what? You're... Are you not that? We're not married yet. <laughs> I don't think they were married was... in the shack. Oh, man. I'm still living in Kame House. Uh, waiting for Roshi to die so we can collect the place. Since I am the longest living resident and uh, my mail has been coming here for so long, I own it now. <laughs> it's like that, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Um, uh, uh, Takahata's Canadian. Uh, yeah, Takahata's Park. Canadian? Yeah, he is. Uh, he, knows, he knows Tom. Mm -hmm. um, hang on, I'll tell you which Tom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Android 18 is best, then Car knows Lanny. 18 gets the gold medal when compared to Bulma and Chi Chi. Yeah. I think the only person who comes close is. Launch. <laughs> Videl? Videl, yeah. I was going to say Videl. Well, this first classmate does nothing for me personally, despite growing up with it and having seen every episode. See, I stopped watching Dragon Ball Z around the Frieza saga and I started reading the manga, and I enjoyed it way more. And I, and I was that guy in high school saying. But you need to read the manga. It's better as a manga. Shut up, Mike. But it's better as a manga. It's the same thing over and over again. Quack. It's better as a manga. Never want to watch this Dragon Ball Z abridged. So, All right, folks. What do I know? Reveal. There you go. Oh, God. Er, er, friggin', friggin'. Fidel's cool. I'm mad I forgot I'm her like Toriyama. I forgot about launch when we started working <laughs> I forgot about a lot of things. Like, when did Goku and Chi Chi have sex? Mouth present. <laughs> Bulma! Sex makes babies! I know Goku. Oh, okay. oh god. Uh, you're friggin'. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, so, god. Mike, if I want to do a session, Sharn, in Eberron, should I find the old third edition of it? Maybe. If you prefer third edition, yeah. Um. Uh, Knock you. If you want a whole lot of stuff. Shout. If you want more material to work with, I would say at least look at the old Eberron books. Um, she will have more stuff to work off of. But mm -hmm. if you are a real 5e player, I would keep it in Eberron. Unless it ends up just being a useless fluff, fluff book. But mm. Chowda. Hey, Chowda. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Couldn't even finish it, could you? Da, 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 so, da, da. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Tap out. Tap out is just singing. Spiky! <laughs> I need an adult. Shame on you! <laughs> Shame on your cow! <laughs> Shame on you! Shame on your whole family! Shame on the cow! <gasps> you mean me? Oh, she looks good, babe. Shout out to the audience. Goku, I want a divorce. Ooh, what does that taste like? Because I'm really sorry about the group Neat. causing shenanigans for my own DM was missed. Aw, oh, man, my ghost in the shell DVD set died. DVD player won't even read the discs. Oh, oh that's rough. We try getting them rethinked. Uh, re what is that? Like uh, you should send them down a layer. <coughs> you send them somewhere. Like <coughs> send, send them down a layer. You, you get them that, clean. You get them you, you clean. That sounds dangerous. No, it works. Jordan did it once for me for um, I think a Persona disc. Yeah. Batman still needs a thing. I've been considering revising my old Eberron campaign plan for Five E. Do it. I've. The problem is I've heard mixed stuff about Eberron. Oh, I do not want to clip e. up. Uh, from different people. Because when Eberron came out, it was that hot new thing Wizards was trying to push. C E P. And now people say, oh, I wish we could go back to Eberron. Dishonor. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your family. Dishonor on your cow. Um, That's it. But I never got so hot into it. I know the toothpaste is a trick for repairing scratch disc media. Does it work, though? Does anyone know if toothpaste actually works for fixing scratch media? Find out in your own stuff and then tell me. Don't lie to me about the results. I'll know. Because I'll try it and I'll fail. Anyway. Don't lie to me. I don't, do that enough to myself. Don't lie to me. I'm very gullible and that's wrong morally. <laughs> uh, I see, Mike. I didn't know you could fix DVDs like that. Yeah. Uh, there are places. you got to find them. Um, video okay. game stores, I find, are usually the best place for it. That will re... That'll skim off like the top layer of your. Um, okay, so the first. So, the, so, okay, so for. Oh, the, it's your turn, babe? For this, yes. Jack has translated the first corner, the right, right, cop, the right top corner. Yeah, we the have the second, cipher. The second tank of Vaughn is getting released on the seven, 27th of April. Okay. But that's the tank of Vaughn. So, when the tank of Vaughn comes out on the 27th of April, this will be out. Yeah. So, I have to check eBay. Yeah. Okay. Spiky. <coughs> 
So yeah, now I am changing over to um, the Armored Core model. Uh, hopefully oh, you saw me good. show off the... Uh, it's hard to show it off when you... You have to stretch for the camera all the way over there. Yeah. I am amazed, uh, Team... Oh, I know what I do with Team Four Star. I put them in the Boost Saga and let them rewrite it by their player yeah. actions. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, those are just instructions on how to clean... Clean DVDs. I did a library science internship where I basically got to put the library's backlog and image CDs and video games through library's DVD clear. It was super cool. Started watching Dragon Ball GT. I used to say it had some redeeming qualities. Now I come to discover just how fanfic it really was as an adult. Feels bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Ball Z GT is a, is a lot of nice ideas. But you don't... Executed, maybe not so great. No. Just not. Just not. I need my C-plate. C plate. Is this the C plate? There's the C. Plate. Is that Although I say that, that I've never watched an episode of GT. I just read the summaries online. Mm -hmm. So, which might just be the better way to do it. I love how there's a boob plate here, but I know it's never gonna get used. <gasps> yeah. boob in the it's a hidden boob plate. In case she does a sick jump, you need <laughs> to know she's got tits. <laughs> nice. Uh, so in the transform, uh, transformed version, uh, they uh, don't so much. Use those boobs? Not really, no. They're under the car. Are Skidding there other the boobs board. that get subbed in? Yes. Okay. Also, be aware the Dragon Ball Z RPG only covers up to the Android saga. No cell or boo or boo rules. Yeah. Good. It's that laser they shot Godzilla with. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see it. She looks good. Same. You didn't weigh on in it in on any of the sexuality drawing stuff. <clears throat> oh. Should um, I leave you out of it? Did you want me to have an opinion about it? Because I have. You I know, when you say it like that, like that, you make oh it sound. God. You make it sound like I have an abusive boyfriend. <laughs> domestic abuse. I'll show you. It's like, do you want me to have an opinion? <laughs> you can have your own opinion because you're a grown ass adult woman. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so you remember when everybody was really pissed off about Tengen, Topa, Gurren Lagann, and when everybody was yes. just like. When everybody was just like, hey, yeah, um, Tengen Topo Girl and Logan is bad because of the fact that Yoko just is a 16-year-old girl who has boobs that just fly everywhere. I was one of those people who was defending it, going, the narrative speaks louder than Yoko's boobs. But because of the fact that everybody was kind of getting up on their tits about Yoko's boobs... They're like, you shouldn't you shouldn't be watching stuff that promotes pedophilia. And I'm like, it's not really promoting pedophilia. It's made for a bunch of dudes. Right? They're not thinking of they, a lot of the a lot of the time they're not thinking of younger Yoko. They're thinking of On his son Yoko. Yeah. They're thinking of twenty four year old Yoko who's got tits the size of fucking missiles. Mm -hmm. Right? That's normally what people are thinking of, right? Because if they're thinking of sixteen-year-old Yoko, then that's the problem. That's not. That's not the problem of the anime. That's the problem of the people watching it, right? The anime isn't promoting it. The anime, because the thing is, is that the anime Yoko doesn't do anything ex like anything, anything remotely sexual except kiss two guys, right? And I've always been been like. This doesn't make any sense for why people should hate this. Because the because of the fact that her tits are out? So what? There's a bunch of other people who have their fucking tits out. And who gives a shit of whether or not they have their tits out? Yoko's a 16-year-old girl who lives in a fucking desert. Of course she's going to have her tits out. She's hot. Both in both sense. <laughs> right? She's... Literally, she knows she's hot too, right? Because she's she's over she's overheated all the time, and on top of that, she's just she's just a girl who's sixteen and wants to express herself. Who? What girl at sixteen doesn't want to fucking show off their tits to a bunch of dudes? What is this, right? That's just for me, though. Well, it's good to know you feel. Bad. She also has a sniper rifle. Exactly, she has a sniper rifle and fucking kicks ass. Who the fuck gives a shit about Yoko's tits? I w I always will defend nudity in in the the stuff that I prop that I watch, especially like Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill actually I argue the nudity is essential because of the fact that there's an entire meta narrative about clothing and biblical references. It makes so much sense to me that I made an entire video about it on like my old Blue in the Face YouTube channel, which unfortunately you cannot watch anymore because I took down all the videos. But 
like, I, I did an entire thing going, like, look, this entire thing is a biblical reference to when God and Adam and Eve all fucking had that giant tiff. <laughs> right? Because... Mm-hmm. When, We're just listening. Because when God We're was feminists. like, because God actually did this whole thing going like, hey, so you ate the apple and now you're all self-conscious. It's the first sin, right? And that's, that's the thing that's actually referenced in the show because they go, because the, the, the uh, fuck, what's her name? The mom. The mom. Ragyo. She, yeah, Ragyo goes, what is clothing? And then everybody answers sin. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is actually really cool. So it's both a biblical reference in the sense of, hey, this is a, this is a thing that goes... That this is a thing that everyone has been using in order to actually fight for things. And at the same time, it's a thing that's it's against them because, in fact, it's original sin. It just, it, uh, I had a lot of, uh, too much work. Did you I can't, stop? yes, Did you stop? I'm talking too loud, talking too much, can't both. <sighs> so we all have different opinions. <laughs> and the point is that we respect each other's opinions, even if we disagree. <coughs> and our rights to those opinions. Oh God. Now, my fiance looks like she's kind of tired herself out. I, I talked a lot. It was a lot. Did you Did you I mean, not I breathe enough in that? No, I didn't. I, had, I, I, need, I, need, I need a nap. I need a nap. That's too much talk. It's been about an hour. Stay hydrated, you all. Thank you. Yeah. So, was someone asking my opinion about Earthrise Transformers? <laughs> You asked my opinion about things. I did. did. They call it Glory Greatest Opinion. Glory Greatest Opinion. <laughs> you see, here's my thing. I don't want to hurt any of my fans who have a different opinion from me. Glory Greatest Oxygen. <laughs> That's always been my big fear. Oh, how the fuck is this fold in? Also, do give me a second to build parts. That was nice. Like, I do, I do, I I really appreciate the female form, which is why I never really think of, you know, I never really think that having nakedness in shows is a bad thing, right? I think that the We know, young fellow. We know. I think that... I think the problem is the fact that society has deemed nakedness as sexual automatically. And that's a problem that unfortunately needs to be resolved systematically from something else. Oh my god. I... Like, I like the Star Wars prequels on Ironic. Like, wow, we found one. <laughs> it's all good. If I knew it wouldn't kill Sam, Glory Grace commentary tracks would be awesome. See, they like it when you rant. They don't like it when I rant. Why don't you guys like it when I rant about something? I'm curious. <laughs> Sam, you would get along great with Leanna Kersner. Would I? Uh, check her out on Twitter. I don't agree with everything she says. Not to say that you wouldn't, <laughs> but, you know. But yeah, Leanna Kersner is a big proponent for let girls run around in skimpy outfits in their shows. It's not a, it's not demeaning to women. Mm. Congratulations, you received 1,000 messages today with Restream Chat. Yay! Yay! We're getting popular. That's a good thing. <laughs> that means our community is engaging us. Yay! Well, let's see if it is ever a bad thing. Yes. Where did T Blake go? I don't mind you rent. I don't mind you renting, Mike. I see. When she does it, she's a cute anime girl. When I do it, it's just another dude, right? That's I sick. Know. Is Dave any spicy opinions he'd like to share? No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's probably about as spicy as that gets. Right? Yeah, yeah. My spicy opinions do not go well with the brand, so I'm not gonna. My fiance's point out the only reason non sexual nudity is bullshit is because sometimes people say it's not sexual, it's clearly designed with titillation in mind. Hmm. That's fair. Okay. That's a fair <laughs> argument. Of the prequels, episode 3 I found generally good, give or take some bad acting. The other two movies, on the other hand, I take episode 1 over episode 2. Like nice. Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5. Well, yeah. If it's genuinely unsexual, I'm sorry. Hey, I love to see you rage, Big Mike. Yeah, but it's not good for my my mental health. Because I had people literally shit on me for my rant about 5e in the tutorial. Oh, Jesus. 
and it just it wasn't worth it after like was this come on wasn't this fun you know i'm just screwing around don't take me seriously you should never take me seriously when i'm ranting about anything <clears throat> you should just say they're there and let me do my thing a lot of people take my rant seriously some people took my rant seriously and i don't want to hurt my fans one day perhaps i will rant again open a blog don't tell Maybe anybody where it is reflection shows <laughs> who i am Inside. When it transfers over completely to an AFK stream, mild flavor, Dave, no string, no spice. Um, when it transfers over completely to an AFK stream, have you thought about doing games like the Fantasy Trip or Descent? Hmm. Descent, maybe. I'm cracking up remembering something. someone swapping their character models of Ocelot and Quiet when she's moving all slinky in the rain. <laughs> yeah, like, there's an argument... That's how you... she breathes. <laughs> sure, Kojima. <laughs> sure. You paid you paid twenty thousand extra to make a supermodel who, by the way, has shower scenes in your game. What? Like, like I love the female form, but we know why you got the quiet like that. And I will enjoy masturbating to porn for her on Rule Thirty Four like everybody else. Oh my goodness. That was a gag. That was a fucking gag. That was a gag. You all know the D20 Live staff don't have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> we all just mash crotches together. Like, like, Ken, like dolls. Ken dolls. <laughs> don't talk about yeah, my Yeah, she presents to you in the helicopter to breathe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Ken dolls. Don't talk about have you my seen, have, that have you seen her poses in the fucking helicopter in Metal Gear Solid Five? <clears throat> Sam sings. That wasn't even a good singing. <laughs> <clears throat> What am I looking for? Uh, the club of, uh, of quiet dancing in Metal Gear Solid 4, apparently. 5, apparently. Oh, wow. Your bottom, your They're bottom. fucking shameless. Kojima's been a hentai since Marilyn and Metal Gear Solid. That's true. Yeah. I love the video game Dragon's Crown. is sexualized on both sides. Yes, it is. The helicopter shorts. Yeah, I know. Huh. That's why I prefer, as my companion, the dog! <laughs> now, if we uploaded the dog with the quiet poses. Oh, no! <laughs> no, I'm just watching the wireframe distort, and I'm like, oh, no! Uh, Bad mic. <laughs> is anyone enjoying Death Stranding, by the way? Just in the chat, because I know no one here is playing. So, Mike, it. if you had a chance, what kind of Space Marine chapter would you create if GW. I just said, hey, Mike, a new chapter with lore. See, here's the thing. I would make... I would, it's so hard not to make it the Space Wolves, but just like some Mary... Or cooler. S no, just some Mary Sue shit version of the Space Wolves, right? Just mm -hmm. be like, we're the best at what we do, but we're also beer-drinking, swollen guys. Mike, so that you just made the Space Wolves again, right? The, uh, the, um, the Codex Astartes is a good suggestion, but we don't follow it to the T. Uh, it doesn't matter, D-Dog is the best <laughs> companion. Anyway, helicopters, damn it, Blue Thunder. No, fuck that game. Nauticus Chapter. Yeah. No, because they be accused of, of being a Slaneshi cult. Yeah. Like in five seconds, even if they were very emphatically saying, no, we really aren't. We just like to rub the bits. Get out the stress. Because, like, I would love to... No, I know what I'd do. Hate to be the I'd make them... Um, it, but... um, it'd be... I know what I'd do. Have something fun. I make them uh, like bodgers. Like their oh, yeah. their entire gimmick would be more than each and every member of the chapter has some tech priest training training. Mm -hmm. So they all their their entire thing is retrieval of um, like space artifacts. hulks and relics and artifacts and shit. That's their entire thing. Mm -hmm. And that you send them in there with nothing, and they come back with like major battleships Everything. that they jack back to life. That's what I would do. That is the chapter I would make, and that would be their entire gimmick, is they just, they go in, find this stuff, bring it back, and they're like, can we keep it? No. Damn it! I named it Gary. Chapter recovery. Yeah, they're just a recovery chapter. My, I made a chapter called Super Sentai Space Marines. Honestly, mm -hmm. if I was, even if I was into the quiet the, for the TNA, I would hate using her anyway because of the incessant fucking humming. Fair enough. What would the color scheme of that chapter be? Um... I would say like Leathers. A, a dark, uh, a gunmetal gray, and kind of like a brown leather for the main primary colors, actually. That's what I would do. Yeah, I like that. 
Anyway, back to the question. Mike, a chapter called The Doom Dragons took the werewolf thing to the space wolves and have it to the Salamander Gene scene, making the dragons, draconic space marines, let breathe fire. Cool. Ooh. Could get my money back. Yonfil used to tune the humming out. Something dawned on me. I'm glad Saban is revving now because knowing him, he'd have to tr he'd have tried to make Ultraman pay him tribute when it got brought over last year. You can, Mike. Couldn't. Couldn't die. Couldn't get my couldn't, oh couldn't get me money back. I see. But yeah, that is the exact chapter I would make. Is they're just retrieval experts. It's like God. So their entire thing would be. Um, oh, I they need they need to have a cool name, but they just be like. Chapter Master of the Scavengers. The Scavengers, yes. There's an orc encampment. We don't care. They're, ha they're next to an artifact. artifact. Let's get the Emperor's glorious work out of there! <laughs> and they're all just Omega geeks for everything. This, but no, this bullet was used at the Battle of Antares V. It's sacred! They just don't want to use any of their relics because they're all just... Bullet. They're all hobby geeks. <laughs> they're just... They're just insane hobby geeks and they don't want anything to leave mint condition. <laughs> so and they're oh god, their arch enemies trays in the infinite. Just like Keen? Huh? Keen? A trays in the infinite is a guy in Warhammer lore who is infamous for stealing famous legendary things. Oh jeez. It's it's just what he Rogue does. Traitor. No, like he's he's a Necron. Oh boy. So he's got shit, right? Mm. No, I'm trying to find my G plate. Oh, I see. Um, G money! <laughs> the Terax Watas. So Blood Ravens, but not hoarding at all. No, they're just like, they don't hoard it, they don't use it. It's so like, we found it. We'll return to the Ultra Rings. We will send it back in the battle. No, it's limited edition! <laughs> uh, the Glamour Clutches. Or yeah, that's exactly the chapter I'd make. It's just like, you guys could use that legendary Void Grenade. Or... Counterpoint, I could wire five frag grenades together. But that violates the codex, but it doesn't use up the artifact. Or violate the Emperor's good work! It's like, are, do, are we sure the chapter's okay? Oh, it's okay, but man, they're nuts. Do I only have one G point? They're just weaving sure. out hard. Yeah, they're just, they're just huge nerds for everything. No, I don't have the pink G plate. Hmm. Come out. This belongs in a museum! <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're just they're all just super Indiana Jones guys. It's like, it's a relic! Don't touch it! Oh no, I do I do have it. You got it? I got it. Right. It was it's black. That's the problem. We need to see these guys in Death Watch now. By the Emperor's glory name! How dare you! Oh god, that'd be funny right after the Death Watch game where they kill us. Like, why are they wearing so many relics? No! No! Get it off of them! No! Yeah, okay, I'm right. Just traumatized. Uh, yeah, that is the Emperor's chapter I would make. Because I wouldn't want to make another overpowered, stupid, uh, Mary Sue-esque chapter, but I would totally make a chapter of hardcore geeks. <laughs> Just Kamen Rider X Warhammer 40k. Is that timer? No! Capture it! Do not kill it! Yeah. They're just they're just stupid, stupid geeks for the Emperor's artifacts. <laughs> oh, I like this idea. I should write it down. <coughs> Submit it to Games Workshop and they'll, then they'll, I could see them going, you know, we don't have a chapter that does this. But we should. We don't have a chapter that all they do is retrieve things. Yeah, it's, uh... It's the uh, chapter that's almost exclusively uh, lent out to the, um, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, uh, the guys who run the Titans. Yeah. It's like yeah, we... Not the Astra Militarum, but yeah. the... Uh... It was Lady Satsuki's speech. My comment was eaten, says Otaku Kat. Sorry, Otaku Kat. But yeah, no, that is totally the chapter I would make. Yeah, they're the guys that you send to get a Titan back, and they bring the actually bring the Titan back. They walk it back. They don't even walk to it. Bring I it got it running! <laughs> they have one that's still shit. Okay. Says one. She's very lovely. Small. It's small. It's a tiny. It's a little bust. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, I really I really dig that idea of a chapter. Oh, she does, she does got tell, cats. I'm going to tell Jordan next time I see him. I say, hey, Jordan, would this work for a chapter? 
knowing him, he'll either turn around and say, well, Mike, that chapter already exists and they're blocked. <laughs> or he'll say, son of a bitch, there isn't a chapter that does that. God. Yeah, the, um, they would just, the thing is, though, the Astro Recover Acts. Recover Atis. Yeah. But I could just see it. It's like, what do you mean they found the Emperor's Titan? These four assholes just got lucky and found the Emperor's Titan? We found one of the Emperor's candles, and Gary feigned it for a week. <laughs> you fuckheads found the Emperor's Titan and turned it on? <laughs> it still had gas in the tank. <laughs> I mean, we were kind of an external... You don't turn on the Emperor's Titan! <laughs> it's in mint condition. Jimmy in the back is just screeching. His butt touched it. The Codex has never has this has never been written down. We we never knew it existed. Our Codex isn't prepared for this. We were never prepared for this. so much awesome. <coughs> the Codex <laughs> never prepared. Prepare thine butt plate. By the Emperor's glorious pubes, of which we have five. Well, this sounds like the perfect chapter for a dark parody of Warhammer 40k. Aren't they all dark parodies? <laughs> yeah, really so. I mentioned. I'm not expecting these archives of the Emperor to be cremated by Puff in the next day, created by Puff in the next Death Watch game. Whoop. <laughs> no. Mike, they sound like a bunch of nerds. I love it. Because, yeah, Jerome would go, you guys are nerds. Nerds? Or do we believe in keeping the Emperor's glory safe? Unlike some people, what do we do? You turned on his Titan. Ooh, the, the Astra Indianus. <laughs> the Astra Indianus. Yeah, they're all Indiana Jones. This belongs in a museum. So do you. Really? You think so? He said I was important enough to be in a museum. They're nerds, dude. Stop telling them they belong in a museum. Damn it. I'm so fucking loud. Fucking, fucking oh. nerds. Fucking Damn it. nerds. I gotta rewatch the Death Watch games. Mike, who would be the chapter's gene father? I can see them. Here's the thing. I can see them being an offshoot of the Ultramarines. We call them old dusty balls. Because, <laughs> but for, but there, the thing was... Yeah, I can see that what would make sense to me is making them uh, an offshoot chapter of the Ultramarines, even though I love the Blood Angels, right? And then giving them the Blood Frenzy would be funny as hell. <laughs> we just call it Geek Out. Yeah, <laughs> they just geek out about shit, right? But it makes more sense to that they're, they're offshoots of the Ultramarines, and they just really specialize in preservation, and after a few thousand years, they just became nerds. <laughs> nerds? Where are the Holy Recovers of the Emperor's Glorious Technology? No! Or I would, just, I would just turn around and not reveal what their gene origin was until they finally displayed a trait. It's like, what the hell do you mean they're salamanders? <laughs> Whoopsies. <sighs> Whoops. Okay. Sorry, had to stretch. Big stretch. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God, Dave, there'd be... The 17 benedictions of allowance of use of reliquary oh items. And it's 17 steps they have to follow in the event they must use a, a relic of some kind. And it's just this complex bullshit. Hey, there we go. It's just, first you must praise the emperor. Emperor, forgive me for the sin I'm about to commit. Then we must thank the reliquary for its good work. Thank you. No problem, bro. <laughs> Wait 27 seconds for the reliquary to think, to say it's okay. If it doesn't say anything, you're still good. For we have given notice and ample time to reply. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I've been working for a bit now, and I've just got... Uh, I mean, I've started on the shoulder blades. <laughs> I want these guys to death watch so bad, mostly because Jordan and Connell will try to loot the st stabbed vault of slab vault of rarities. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. You okay, babe? Yes. Yeah, so like I'm the toss. But yeah, no, if it's new, <sighs> their entire gimmick would be if it's new, they would just, they would, they would throw it off a cliff. But if it's done anything important, it just gets elevated to stupid status. 
It's just like, I just got this new bolter. It costs us 100 hours. Why are you modding it? It's not great, guys. Come on. It's just a standard issue bolter. We can do better. It was once blessed by the librarian of... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Everything they have has, like, a certificate of authenticity that's, like, uh, one of those uh, uh, purity yeah. seals. Doesn't actually touch it. Everything is in a mint box. So their entire ship is effectively a freighter for boxes. <laughs> oh my god, the inside no. looks like the fucking Indiana Jones uh, 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 yeah. warehouse. Yeah. No, Dave, <laughs> here's the best part. Death Watch and Blood Angel, Death Watch and Blood Ravens come by. We need a relic. And they're just like, yeah, here with brooms. <laughs> yeah, here. No. Okay, Tiny, I need you to feel this. I need you just to touch it. Whoa. Right? Wow. Is it frail? That is or? so soft. He's so he's soft. He's so she's she's oh. got soft hands. Can I see? He's soft <laughs> Rob Hagen's like, for the love of God, give Mike a pen and paper so he can write oh. this shit down and not forget it like you forgot. Oh, I right? see. They're soft hands. <laughs> yeah. Those are so soft. This is so soft. Uh, it's an interesting uh, uh, density of plastic they uh, chose to make the hands out of. I mean, like, they did it for her I, hair, too. Oh, nice. So it has a okay. kind of... Uh, That's weird. <coughs> Semi. Oh, I get it. It's silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, we drop, we're, we're dropping frames like a... Oh, no. No, right. it's fine. It was 25 That's minutes 10%. ago. Okay. Right, we're good. Okay, the last two minutes and 25. So, okay, you guys notice it's got these weird flippers at the back, right? Yeah. All right, chat, if you can see that. Raise it up. Yeah, yeah, so, the idea is those fold in, and the tail is separate. So if I want to um, uh, do the thing do the thing, and make it in its fish mode. It's a fish mode? It is a fish. It's amazing. I love it. Thank you. I do this. That's swish, swish, I'm a fish. A swish, 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 I'm a fish. We're not getting the full chat. Oh. Oh, right. <sighs> The grandfather, Gino. Praise the Omnissiah. The Adeptus Mechanicus. That's who. They're like the exclusive. Yeah. Um, the Adeptus Mechanicus calls these guys. And, and they're like, yes, sir. It's like, do we get to touch it? Would you want to touch Only it? Only in transport. No. We wouldn't want to get our filthy we hands. Know the, we know the rules. Okay, so I've got E1. Cool. Uh oh. B, G's, and G. Okay, G's. BG's? Uh, G, G. BG's? <gasps> the BG's. Living up from the nights <laughs> on Broadway. <laughs> the greatest weapon of our chapter <laughs> is not the bolter fire that we have. What is the worst? The These song. forms. Say Why are those forms? The the requisition Say forms. Them. For relics. On the nights on Broadway. B, mm. I. Am I getting I? I do have I. I. Uh, All right, that is <laughs> one Gal Geiger shoulder done. Uh, that's, uh, where are they? Those are no, C, D, no, D, That's not the Bee Gees. <laughs> that's Chicago. Maybe I'm serenading, serenading you. How about that? Are you serenading me? Oh. Now I am, because it makes me win my argument. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, I've got B. There they are. I've got G. Uh, I want to have you near me. I want to have you hear me say it. You're the meaning of my life. You're the inspiration. Chat, help. <laughs> <laughs> They've got poop brain. <laughs> no one needs you more than I. Stop it, you weirdos. I love. <laughs> it's magic. Shut up. <laughs> it's magic. It's ma magical. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck right off. <laughs> Living it up. Mike, you can see them Living taking stock of every nick and scratch of the relics while riding them out. <laughs> Maybe I have an emperor. Help them who damages them. Oh my god, they're like Hertz rental car. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do a walk around before uh, every bolter before it goes out. Okay, that was in the Battle of McCrag. That was uh, 
This, uh, if you uh, bring it back with any more, we will summarily execute you. I, you gotta realize this is a chapter that doesn't value kills and victories as much as it values coming back with a cool thing. Yeah. It's like, but I killed 27 orcs in one fight. Meh. What did I you found back? one bolter shell that belonged to Senegunius. Oh! Suddenly, you know, you hear ping <laughs> of all the... Uh, of all the uh, Space Marine armor oh. boners. Big. I could sing anime. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> I love you. Bet your bottom dollar <laughs> that tomorrow <laughs> there'll be sun. <laughs> now I'm picturing Big Mike holding up Autobot, the Autobot blaster and doing Say Anything Outside of Sam's House. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be okay if I did that, babe? Just holding yeah. up a blaster from Transformers going... Yeah. I'd, totally, I'd be down for that. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, good to know. <laughs> to be fair, I've always kind of wanted that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> really? Is that, yeah. is that just a thing with every girl? Yeah. <gasps> B. Okay, now I have to change them into lefts and rights. Okay. Isn't he like a real douchebag in that movie, though? Yes, he is. Okay. Who's a douchebag? <laughs> Um, D four. Dude from Say Anything. Mm. Sorry, that was gnarly. Mm. Yeah, a big gnarly burp. D four. D four. D four. D four. B nine. B ten. So they're just the crew from Big Bang Theory, just as a Space Marine chapter. No, because I hate Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Pictures of it when it's done or it didn't happen, Mike. Guys, look, I. I come up with 10,000 ideas a day and I have to write them down. I'm or I'm still working on the tabletop book. Thank God Angoria's on the back burner for a while. B, I, 9. Oh no, Sam's doing the cute voice again. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, that is totally I the chapter nine. I would make. They're just fucking nerds for relics. And everyone calls it, the, the Space Wolves call them nerds. You know what's not a nerd? Keeping your stuff nice. I, 9. They're quoting you now. Are they quoting me? Yeah. Um, Hear me! I ate. Oh my god, this thing is this thing is adorable. <laughs> Boss! Hear me! I don't fear you, I think you're great. No, fear me! Do you want your chucky milk? Yeah, I want oh. chucky milk. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> you want your chucky milk? Yeah. You want your chucky milk. <laughs> I demand tribute. I got a five-year-old that's drank nothing but chocolate milk for a week. Chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> you want my chocolate milk? Chocolate, chocolate milk. <laughs> Don't make me laugh while I'm clipping shit, babe. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> put it down. Go. Chocolate, chocolate milk. Chocolate, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. And and. Chicken nuggies. And and chicken nuggies. Rare. <laughs> your boss, you want your chunky milk and chicken nuggies? Yeah. <laughs> you want to kill someone after? Yeah. You want to have a nap after you die because you might get tired and get a headache again? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to kill the vampire community. Uh, oh, no. The vampire yeah. community is going to shoot me in the <laughs> How Would dare you, you get rid of our edge setting? Chucky milk! Chucky Stop milk. it! Was she turned when she was six? Yes! <laughs> nice. They, that, they, 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 in the rule book they go, yeah, children things are a bad idea, so they're not actually a thing. But... This is too funny. This is too funny. And on top of that, they did exist. Hmm. There's nothing saying that they can't exist again. Yes. Right, because the thing is, is that with about... With the... Words. What are they? Because there, there's a thing about the children uh, of the night. Excuse me. The children of uh, you please. I can't remember what they're called, but the the children vampires because they could be of any other thing, but they were all children, and because of the fact that they were all children, they all had special things, essentially. Words. Powers, ability, nuances. Nuances. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. 
Because being turned into a vampire as a kid is a bad idea? Yeah, because mm-hmm. being turned into a vampire as a child is, is not cool. So... So basically what happened was is that the vampires, like the adult ones, they all said, fuck this, and just killed everybody. So... She survived. She survived. And now obviously. she's the oldest one who knows all the secrets. Exactly. She's the one that... Because that's that's what I've made Mouseferato to be. Nice. Two EVMs, you could potentially have vampire fetuses who just claw themselves out of the womb. Ew. Uh, yeah, I saw that uh, zombie movie. That yeah. was a bad time. Okay, let's not kid ourselves. Vampires said some garbage from the very first publication. Alina, we're geek Pete would laugh her ass off at that stream. <laughs> Again, huge fan of the game, but it was never the, never not grim dumb. Fair enough. Someone wants to tell vampire creators, you guys need to see this stream <laughs> where, <laughs> where a giant gangrel has adopted effectively this ancient as balls vampire and asks her if she wants chucky milk and her nuggies. <laughs> chucky, <nuggets. laughs> chucky milk and chicky nuggies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chucky milk. Do you want your chucky milk boss? I do. Okay, you know you can't actually taste it, right? That's okay. Okay, let's get you your chucky milk. Okay. <laughs> really, it's reverence. Yeah. <laughs> I respect her because she's the oldest one of us, and she knows. No, I think she's adorable, dude. Oh, okay. She's fucking cute. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Hey, see, look at that. She's fucking cute. Oh. <laughs> uh. This is how that stream's gonna start. I'm gonna cut. My character's gonna come in. She'll be like, "I'm gonna beat your prince. I'm gonna smack him down. I'm gonna rule this place. Who are you?" Fury. Oh my god, this thing is adorable. I fall in the hell. Fury. <laughs> Do you want chocolate milk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is, even with the eat food merit, she'd have to vomit back up. Yeah, probably, but it's still fun. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's for reserved for after her. Uh, yeah, but it's fine. Now it's, it's it's more the gag. <laughs> Obviously, there's flaws, but it's more the gag. Yep. This thing, what you want your? Fig- Why is he from Jersey, Mike? I don't fucking know. It's the voice I got when I made it. It just happened that way. There's a lot to vampire. More and more specific from them being a metaphor for sex. Now I picture baby doll from Batman the Animated Series as a vampire. That's why I want to ruin vampire. <laughs> By making the most iconic character possible in it? By making the most fucking iconic character possible and just fucking taking their stupid, <laughs> I'm going to make everything about sex and just be like, fuck off. We are now having fun. Yep. Because that's what RPGs mean to me. Having fun. Not I'm about. Having a good time. Having, having a good time. time. Rocket ship on my way to Mars. On a collision course. I am a satellite. I'm out of control. I'm a sex machine ready to reload. Like an atom bomb. I'm gonna go, 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 go explode. I'm burning through the sky. Yeah. 200 degrees is why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I want to make a supersonic man out of you. <laughs> don't stop me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like don't it. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Have, Have a good, good time. time. Good time. Don't oh, stop me. Oh, we So is so is that Sam? So is that Sam announcing a vampire game on stream in the future? Yes, yep. there will be. It's gonna be in, this year in November. <laughs> you know, for the Halloween thing. It's Halloween themed. Oh, we're doing that in October. Hashtag that Queen D twenty one. Who was that, Scott? Uh, after Scott's game, she's gonna okay. do. Uh, <laughs> yep. No worries. Where was I? Oh yes, making the like. Who is texting me? Wow, she is energetic. We brought her back. Yep. G7. We need, to, we need to D20 live carry. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, she's got the No, the best, I still, my favorite part, can I just say one thing? Can I, I just want to tease this. Um, I made an announcement yesterday mm-hmm. for a plan. <laughs> and I believe Dave recalls the plan. I know Sam recalls Maybe. the plan. I don't know. I have a pretty dumb brain. For what I want to do in September. Uh, now it's gone. Now it's gone. No, no, no. You keep, keep going. I'll remember. And it's for a charity live stream. Because <gasps> we're yes. going to be doing our first charity event in September. We're still working out the dates. And yeah. It's going to be fun, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be fun. Because I came up with something 
that has never been done before, ever, by all the right. thousands of Critical right. Role clones. I, I mean, actual play tabletop streams. <laughs> I remember. <coughs> yep. Okay, was I got I got it now. I know I understand. The entire, I've never seen the entire group. <coughs> it was pretty you, fucking great. Unanimously go fuck yeah. Is the charity at least figured out. Yes, it will be for the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, for very personal reasons, which I won't go into. So, uh, Hype Train, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I watched the entire team look at me and, with shock. Are you going to buy uh, an extra thing for that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not using my own. Okay, good. I'm not an animal. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, almost hints. <laughs> almost I am not using my tense. own for that entire thing. <laughs> I'm buying a brand new one, the latest errata printed. <laughs> I like that, though. That's good. I like that. It's gonna be glorious. I don't want to say what we're doing yet, because when you all it's see glorious, it, and you're all gonna nut. <laughs> you're gonna go. What do you mean you're doing this? Women can nut too. Was there like what? a slow applause of approval? No, it was shock. It was shock and then cheers, <laughs> which was uh, amazing. Yeah, I've shock never and seen. <laughs> I have never seen this group. It's only the second. It's the second time ever I've seen this group. So unanimously go. We're behind this idea and we want to be a part of it. We were pretty. Even young Connell and Cassie were like. I'm I'm excited to be a part of great. this. <laughs> and they were like, we're in, we're in, we're in. We want to be a part of this. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a mo a mess. Oh yeah. Uh, can I announce anything to to with my Lancer stream? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Connell, um, uh, Scott, Mike, and Cassie are gonna be in my Lancer uh, stream. Barring cancellations. Barring, Barring cancellations. cancellations. I'm gonna have understudies ready to go. Yeah. If, uh, if they've learned our lesson. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've got my plot written out. I'm going to flesh it out over the next while. I'm going to run it by Mike. Yep. Uh, or at least, uh, the general details. Run, run then, it by Sam, um, dude. She's, who are you? Just, oh, yeah, I can run it by Sam, because she's not going to play in it. Glory um, Green is nut. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's just, or, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, God. Country. <laughs> Oh, Sam, what if, what if Glory Grey's customs agent, Glory Grey's customs agent, played Republic oh. and oh. finally got an upgrade to Glory Grey's surveillance agent? Oh, I want to do that. Them Lancer, what is that, Dave? Lancer is a Kickstartered, um, a fully successful Kickstarted, uh, giant, or not giant, but uh, uh, mecha RPG that uh, is pretty sweet. Um, if I say so myself, their community is pretty awesome. Uh, we'd love to get their fucking mods watching. Um, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you, uh, there's pilots, there's mecha, there's, uh, there's leveling. It's very fun, uh, in my opinion. And, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, do a, um, if you're going on Twitter, it's, uh, Lancer RPG. Or Masayf Press. Or uh, Massive. Massive Press? Yeah. M-A-S-S-I-F Press on their itch.io uh, itch uh, page. And uh, their artwork is pretty fucking great. Uh, their, uh, the rule system is solid. And I'm going to be running it for um, September. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I'm going to be before Scott and his game. And uh, for Sam and her game. Also, we're getting a Spirit of the Century sequel. Yeah, yeah. Just going to put that out there. You know, just... That's kinda... Nauticus knows about Glory Great as a nut. <laughs> I, tried to no I tried to nut in Glory Great as it didn't work out too well. She got really angry. It's <laughs> like, so, come on, put it, let me put it in. No! Oh. I have a wife. She is good. All she right, fine. Wife. I don't force people, but I've got to tell you, I'm very good. You are missing out. <laughs> Why do I see almost nude anime girls when I Google Gal Geiger model kit? Uh, because. <laughs> because of the art style. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because. Yeah. That was a kid's show. Whoa. <laughs> And uh, the nut we speak of is not uh, is not gender specific. Anyone who likes to nut can nut with it. 
I just killed the conversation. I, I just I didn't know how to. Of course, to Glory Greatest Customs Agent didn't want Nauticus's package. It's undeclared. <laughs> 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 He's smuggling <laughs> plums. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not supposed to smuggle. Uh, 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 it's been a century of the revenge of Apocalypse. Apocalypse might not have make an appearance. We've got a new bad guy. We do. Uh, it's It was interesting what we came up with that one time, and it was too good for me not to do it. That one time at that camp? I mean, not because it's involved, so it's kind of that story. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. I have got to finish this la- the dolphin, because... The second dolphin. Yes. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. Because that's all I want to get done for You can't be smuggling a weapon like that in Anastosca. It's not loaded. <laughs> I mean, See. it's loaded, but... It's always... It's, it's always loaded. It's not It's not a weapon. Come on. Take a look. Do the scan. No. Do the scan. No. You won't see the head. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a long thing going right down the front. You can't be smuggling a <laughs> weapon like that into our Stotska! <laughs> Uh, uh, this our has well, no well, time the, Methuselah be showing up. I have no. I don't have an intention to do Methuselah again. I got. I found a new bad guy for them. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Has Darla the Bard physically moved beyond any chance of joining in a game we in the future? Don't know yet. Uh, we don't know. I haven't really communicated with Darla since. Um, <coughs> uh, we're about her coming back. I. My thing has been I've wanted to be very respectful of this transition. Well, is it still is it kind of a transition yes, period it's in counts, her life? It's still of this of transition, transition period of her life, um, and I don't want to pressure her, and uh, I don't want to pressure her into something because she is still my friend, and be because I don't want a situation where I'm just like, hey, Darla, come and join on the stream. Well, I'm not comfortable yet, but I'll do it for you, Mike. And it turns out they're not com- she's not mm. comfortable, right? And I don't want to do, do that. Darla, if you are watching this, you have always an invitation on D20 Live. Should you ever be back in the GTA area, you are still our friend and one of the best GMs I know. So, Mike, how often has Nauticus gotten his butt kicked for hitting on the wrong person? So many times. He's been alive for a thousand years. Um, Translate another part. Says Jack of many names. I totally get that. But, yeah, I just... um, I made shoulder pads. From what I understand, what little I understand of the transitioning uh, period for some people... Um, it's an incredibly difficult and, and challenging personal. and personal period, and it's best to leave someone to their own devices, and as they're figuring out who they are, as they're finally exploring who they actually yeah. are. As I understand it. Uh, if I am wrong, those of you who are transitioning, please tell me, because I don't know. I, I couldn't possibly conceive of that lifestyle, or that life. Um. Totally, the Lord Satan is, totally get that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to push out of respect, but if Darla ever says, I'm in town, I'd love to do a game, but done, what do you want to do? Do you want Power Rangers? I'll ask, I'll ask her to do Power Rangers. (coughs) D6. Um, they all got really quiet because I was respectful. (laughs) Hmm? They all got really quiet. Was it because I was They're waiting for you to finish, I think. Because remember, there's a delay. Uh, fair enough. I'm done talking. Well, I'm just checking a few things. Yay, you know Devil Man is my name. And Vampire in Brooklyn, yes. Oh, they sent you the names? Yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, I love you, chat. You're good people. Yeah, they are wickedly good at researching. Mm-hmm. Then again, they are also Linkara fans, so that makes sense. D20, do you know there's now a TTRPG of Jim Henson's Labyrinth that just came out? Yes. Sam was that close to buying it. We found it at a... Uh, we can tell them the store. Uh, yeah, at 401 in Toronto. Uh, we mm. saw it there. I almost bought Gl- um, Gloranthia, but I'm I'm, uh, I'm understanding if I want... I, I kind of... When I saw Gloranthia, I... I, I I'm going to try to tell them this whole story again. Sam and I were on a date. Yes. And we went to... Uh, four one games in Toronto, which is a one of the one of the two big tabletop RP one of the th- no three or four tabletop RPG stores in Toronto. Um, there they are, and they had a copy of Lorenthia as well as a couple other things, but there was a copy of Labyrinth. 
Uh, and Sam, you saw it, but you didn't know if you wanted to pick it up. I, the problem was is that I didn't know if I wanted to do it for D20 Live, and I didn't. I know I didn't want to do it for a personal game, mm-hmm. because only I am a big per, big fan of the Labyrinth. You know, in, I'm a fan of uh, Bowie Bolt. <laughs> Bowie Bolt. <laughs> Nothing. Tra la la. It's the bog of eternal stench. Oh, that's pretty ripe. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I also still am very big... Because the thing is, is that it was the weirdest thing. I remember very distinctly that the dog's name was Merlin. Yeah, that was right? pretty good. Was it not? I can't remember, because the thing is, is that... Because, like... Okay... Because, okay, this is the problem with the thing. Because I because I can't remember if the dog's name was Arthur or Merlin, right? Yeah. Because from my childhood, I remember it being one, and then suddenly when watching it again, it was the other one. And I don't remember which one it was, which is unfortunate. Dang. You know what's upsetting me? There's a, I want to quote Doug Walker right now for the one good joke he had about Labyrinth. <coughs> um, no. No? <laughs> it was, it was it. a funny joke. Go for it. Uh, there's a part where... She falls down his shoot in front of him. Mm-hmm. He just he, he just looks at the screen and says, You know, I like to imagine <coughs> Bowie saying, Now I'll be fairest in the land. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. It is a good joke. It pisses me off, but it is a good joke. If Nauticus oh. was a headmaster. <laughs> Not the first head I've met. Ma- oh, headmaster oh. from Transformers. Um, Sounds like a Berenstein, Berenstain there, Sam. Sarah's dog's name Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, so I remember it, it like when I was a kid, it, the dog's name was like Arthur, and then suddenly when I watched it again, it was like his name's Merlin, and I'm like, what? Who no, changed? This? Wait a minute, I'm confused. So I don't understand why I remember it as Arthur for the for for some reason. I don't understand. It just happened when I was a kid, and then. Like, so I just, it's just, it's very weird. This movie's very special to me. At the same time, it's very creepy. You kind of don't want us to douche it up the way we do? Yeah, it's it's one of those things of... Like, I, I don't want to do D20 Live Transformers with the crew? Yeah, right? It's just one of those things of... I, I love the Labyrinth very, very much. And it's just, it's it's one of those things of... I don't know if I could do it properly. You could. You'd be the only one who could. Yeah. To be fair, I'm already I'm already really nervous about the Persona game, so because we haven't we still haven't recorded it yet because we had we will in two weeks we had we had timing issues unfortunately and um we're we're it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> I mean, Earth, Arthur Merlin is a connection. You okay, dude? Mm. What happened? Man? Is, oh no! Oh, oh, this is the Kleenex round. There it is. <coughs> you have all oh, of the tissues. Yes, anything, dude. I have the power. <laughs> of Charmin. Sorry, sorry, chat. That came on suddenly, and it was sucky. Holy moly. Okay, I'm getting there. It sounds like they want it. Oh. They want it? Yeah. Yay, Persona. Seems I so. won't die, yawn fellow. <laughs> that was just a sneeze. <laughs> You'll know when I fucking go. It will not be quiet. It will not be be still. What are you going to do? Release a loud scr- hiss like a fucking whistle? Well, I'll deflate and then explode like a whale on the beach. <laughs> 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 then it's everybody's problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not an accurate statement. Uh, Power of voodoo. Voodoo? <laughs> that you do? That's what the other talking about. That you do so well. Okay, let's see. You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Do you do? Who do? <laughs> what is, that? is that from Labyrinth? Yes. Okay. Remind me of the babe. You gotta go I make as big a mess as possible on the way up. The roommate's web oh. comic. It's mainly about the Goblin Thank King, Jera, the Phantom you. Eric. I thought I remembered the roommate. Ex Commodore James Norrington and Inspector Javert, who all live together in the same apartment building. And also along the ride are Crawley, Azarafel, and Laodalus. Wow. That's that is, that's a lot of IPs crowded. Getting, that's a lot of IPs getting crossed. <laughs> that sounds like a crowded uh, crossover right there. Yeah. I thought Infinity's End was tough. <laughs> Ta-da! Chomp, 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 chomp. She died! <gasps> Kick ass. She's super cute. 
She's also got, like, heels for days. <laughs> I think she's actually taller than the boys. Wow. She is long. She is long. she got legs for days. <laughs> she's so got Nice! Legs. It's a robot! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no kind of <coughs> I don't know how she's going to stand. No, I'm good. How does she stand? I'm trying to get around IP by making it stupid. Mike and Sam, what were your first Transformers? My first Transformers? Mine's a heartbreaking story. My first Transformer was Tiny Windblade, which Mike had bought me at TFCon when we first started dating. Do you want a Transformer? I like that Windblade. Okay. What are you doing? I'm buying you the Windblade. Yeah. Why? Because I like you? I like you and I want you to have nice things. And then I went, what? Because I never had that before. So there. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to be the best boyfriend someone's got when they were the boyfriend she had sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if you think <coughs> just... <clears throat> So, you can suck a my first Transformer, I have been told, was an original Optimus Prime. Because I loved Optimus Prime as a kid. Still do, but, you know, it just appeared. Um, the reason why it's sad is because I have nothing from that original toy anymore. Uh, that, um, that original Optimus is, there is nothing remaining of it in my collection in any way, uh, shape, or form. I used to have one of those, too. Yeah. And, uh, not gonna lie, one of my goals is to one day get a replacement one. Original 1980, uh, 1984 uh, Transformers Optimus Prime. But until then... That's a mortgage away. That's, well, it's, it's more like a 400 <coughs> purchase. It's not, yeah, like, it's not impossible. It's just I can't justify it yet. Uh -huh. it's, it's one of those things of when I'm financially stable and I don't have to worry about anything and I have a place for my toys, I will buy one. <clears throat> yeah, once Mike and I move in together, I will show you my first Transformer. She is very small. I love her to death. If you actually are on my Instagram, eyes of Violet, like eyes dot of dot violet thirteen, um, for Instagram, she's on there. She's got a bunch of pictures because she talks to every single Transformer that I have. I have not kept it up, unfortunately, just because of the fact that I had a lot of work to do. So you but, don't want to take Tiny Windblade with you to work, and I don't want to take Tiny Tiny Windblade with me to work. And on top of that, like I, like I had I had a lot of stuff that I need to do because I have a bunch of Transformers that she hasn't I haven't take, take, taken pictures with her yet. As well as the new Braves. As well as the Braves. So eventually, <coughs> you guys will see Tiny Windblade. I love her to death. She is by far the best Transformer that I've got because not only is she small and compact, <laughs> but she is also easy to transform. <laughs> Nice. So, <sighs> hashtag Sam Mike best couple. <laughs> Aw. Oh, dear. Diecast Prime. I, too, lost mine, Mike. My first Transformer was a G1 Grimlock. Yes, I also got Swoop and Slag, but I opened up oh, first. Oh, I had that one, too. On Christmas Day, 1985. I missed my Slag. How is your work, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're not going to talk about my work, no, because... We don't. Uh, we, I don't need to hear that power rant. We don't, we're not going to talk about my work. My work right now is on fire, and... Uh, not literally. Not literally, literally, but just, but, like... <clears throat> that is We're just going to say a blanket statement. Tis a silly place. Let's not go there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I love the people I work with. They're very... They're not watching the stream. They're very, they're very kind <laughs> to me. <laughs> but at the same time, work is on fire, and I don't want to, uh... <laughs> die in that fire? Die in that fire, G -G. so... GG. GG. And a PC. I think the best wars was my first Transformers series, but the one I remember most to follow was Armada back when I was a kid. Gee! <coughs> uh, well, because I remember I got. Beast Wars got me back into Transformers in a big way, and I fell in love with it. And then in my, in, my prime, in my 20s, Prime got me back into it again. But yeah, I still. I have a. As silly as G1 gets, and G1 gets very silly, as the love of my life can attest to. Yes, it does. With the one episode she watched. It was very <laughs> silly. Um, I love it to bits. I just love it differently now. Because I don't love it because I think it's awesome. I love it because I can go, oh, we put Spike's brain into a Frankenstein's Autobot. This was a bad idea. And oh, look. That's there's the Ma combination. There's Megatron. 
Don't you mean Beastie's Big Mike? No, I mean Beast Wars. Because if Scott McNeil gets pissed off, then it's called Beasties. And if Gary Chalk and David Kay and every fucking one else on that show called, it's, that was on that show was pissed off that it was called Beasties instead of Beast Wars, you could take that to the bank. And Gary Chalk is absolutely a lovely person. There's 21. <clears throat> it was very fun when I met Scott McNeil. <laughs> Have you heard? Have you seen the Netflix trailer for the C series? Yes, many of my friends said, "Mike, have you seen this? Are you going to see this? Are you going to see this?" Because I'm the Transformers guy. To which I replied, as I always do, "I don't know. I'm always very, um, I'm always very uh, sketchy on uh, new Transformers shows." Yeah. Um, I usually wait for other people to tell me whether or not it's good, and then I give it a look. And I have I have a guy who I trust for that sort of thing, not just Vangelis. But actually, another guy. She show? Uh, no. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, those are the two shoulders of Genesis Galgai. You're done. <clears throat> I'm sure those were words, but all I heard was syllables. Those are the two shoulders <laughs> for Genesis Galgai. The model kit I'm making. I've got his shoulders done. Okay. And they have a. Oh God. What the oh, hell God is a forever. beasties? What the the Canadian, fuck? that's what it was. <laughs> uh, you could, in Canada, you couldn't, I don't know if you still can't, uh, but you couldn't put war in the title for a kid's cartoon, so they called it Beasties. Not the best name. And yet, the whole series itself was all about the horrors of war. Yeah. And, well, so, that, that part got across. No! The best was still, if you watch the first episode, Primal literally goes, let the battle be here, and let it be called... The Beast Wars. And then it goes, Beasties, at the end. And you're like, okay. No. Okay. So, uh. so this thing says released at the same time. Special yeah, edition. So special edition. Okay. okay. Wait, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring her back. On, hold on. No, don't be wrong. Honey, mm -hmm. what if it's a special edition of that? Oh, no. With... <laughs> we had to get two. Does anyone want to spend 50 bucks to get a Genesico Geiger, if that's the case, made by me? <laughs> Shipping not included? I'll take it. You know I will. Then it's just two Genesico Geigers in my home. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Sass. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. Ron Flew's just freaking... Oh, sorry, babe. Okay. Ron Flew's just freaking out about the thing. Which thing? The, the whole Beasties, the reason why it was called Beasties. Oh. Yeah, Canadian broadcast standards were weird. Well, they still then. are. The CRTC is a draconian nightmare. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird. If you talk to anyone who's ever had to deal with the CRTC, they just scream real loud. Because there's never been a more outdated group of people who have been 20 years behind the curve in their life. Mm -hmm. They are pretty fucking useless, actually. <laughs> Sorry, anyone who works at the CRTC, but fuck what you. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Just, CRTC, stop. Get some help. <laughs> stop. There are, there are things you do. What do you do? Because the CRTC is the reason Canada will never have to worry about net neutrality. Mm. And for that, they are very wonderful and lovely and all of the, those things are great. On the other hand, their children and broadcasting animation standards is from the fucking Dark Ages. Mm-hmm. And just, or should we just go and say it's like from, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the purity movement? Yeah, it's just stop, guys, stop. You get some help. Get some help. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Thank you, <coughs> thank you for making net neutrality that's never going to be an issue in Canada. Mm -hmm. I had but the money. Seriously. I said to pick up person to TFCon for fifty bucks USD Canadian. So even cheaper in USD. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think Road Flu's considering it. I have to know this. What the hell do they call Star Wars Clone Wars cartoon that can mm -hmm. use the word wars? I don't know. The standards might have changed. Plus, it is Disney, right? Uh, Ron Flu, uh, Ron Flu, uh, check out the uh, conversion. Um, and It'll be uh, nice. look what that is. Anyone no, want legitimate Canadian? Canadian? If that ends up being the case, and there's no, a fifty Canadian, not now. We'll figure it out. Yeah. If it ends up being a re-release with those add-on parts, I may sell this. And if there's a fan who wants it, 
it was graced by Big Mike's fingers. Yeah. You can Big Mike's big fingers. You can literally have a slightly oily <laughs> Genesis Cal Geyer that was built by me. Go I've first. harvested your DNA. <laughs> Most legislation concerning broadcast content are someone stone strangling natives. Canadian creatives, yeah. Like there's there's good re- there's good reasons for broadcasting standards. Like let's not have a blow job in the middle of a De- Walt Disney cartoon. You know, reasonable things, right? What was that? It it wasn't, but they could have been. It could have been. Uh, although you know the uh, the Firefly spelling sex over top of uh, uh, Simba and Nala fucking. Okay, that's not when that happened. <laughs> Can you feel the you are fuck tonight? tonight. Like, both of you are close, grossly misrepresenting that entire thing. <laughs> it ended up not being sex. It ended up being SFX. Uh, the name of the t- crew that was doing the effects. Yeah. They wanted to put their letters in there. Can you feel <laughs> the fuck tonight? <laughs> and it happens... When Simba's distraught about whether or not he can live up to his destiny after he bangs Nala. Can you <laughs> the despair tonight? <laughs> and he go and he falls down on the thing and doesn't know if he's lived up to his father's legacy. Okay, ouch, so Mulan is projected to be a major flop since Transformers was obviously cancelled and expected to be dumped into streaming services. Lead actress is constant out. 20th century laws don't work in 21st century. Right, slightly oily. <laughs> Keep joking. Right, a bit of A's trivia. Did you know that the origin systems made adip- uh, adaptions for Car Wars and Ogre for the Sarah James games for all the movies? Well, I did not. Copa and DMCA are horrible. Oh, hear about Australia trying to ban anime saying it's grooming kids by predators, showing them by kids by predators because of shows like Goblin Slayers. <sighs> yeah. The problem is, anime does not do itself some favor sometimes. It really doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like, <coughs> so, like some like let's be honest, guys. Waifu shit. I like waifu shit. At the same time, we need to throttle back the waifu shit. <laughs> throw it back in the pond. Just throttle it throttle it back a little. Because there's way too much waifu shit going on. Nineteen. And way uh, too many harem shit going on. And just, eat that shit back in the pool. And it's just it's too much. No, there's a place for it. There's a place for that frustration and artistic expression. And the problem is, every time it happens, but that is also true, someone just said it, the problem is, anime isn't a genre, it's a whole medium, you can't ban a whole medium, which is also true. But Australia has many more problems, of which it is now paying for the sin and fire. Mm -hmm. Um, The problem is, anime is a genre, it's a whole-ass media, insert Witcher 3 maybe here, oh I know, but I will never use PayPal again, some ass try and take my credit. Keep that Queen's Blade in the back alley, it's like banning all movies because of snuff porn, exactly, that is the argument. Problem is, it's foreign, and thus easy to misunderstand. I did this sticker wrong, and I almost tore it, but it's okay. Salvage! Salvage! No, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Salvage! The so forest salvage? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Bad times on the horizon. Thanks, Devin. Now I'm afraid of fucking a forest. Well, you shouldn't have sex with a forest to begin with. Of a fucking forest. Oh, okay, that would be different. Oh, isekai is cool. If you if you like isekai, you can. There is good isekai, but the problem is I'm reading a lot of isekai manga. They aren't all coming out good. I'm sorry. Afu Afureta, Journey to the World's Strongest, is a fucking dumpster fire. You cannot change my mind. I love how you two are both quiet because you have no idea what I'm talking about. No idea. No, <clears throat> not currently. Okay, so also, I'm gluing, <laughs> so give me a fucking sec. <laughs> Keep concentration. Um, Konosuba's good, so I understand it, and it stays good. Overlord is good. Oh, what's another good Isakai? It's foreign, thus easy to misunderstand. I just put this sticker for a Japanese model kit on wrong. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. I tend to avoid harem anime like the plague because, unless it's an isekai story, because the isekai tropes cancel out the harem tropes. No, they don't. Um, then again, the 80s D&D cartoon is technically an isekai. Yeah. Mm. Technically? Oh, no! God. What else is technically an isekai? What's up? Here I am. Yes. I'll be alright. That's really cool how that reflects the stickers. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need to fix the sticker. I don't need to fix the sticker. It's not that bad. You're fine. It's not that bad. 
Western culture just needs to grow up completely. We've been stuck in a socially awkward stage for over a century. Mm -hmm. And yes, my Konosuba is good. I also recommend it alongside Log Horizon. Yes, another very well-reviewed one for Nisekai. Log Horizon's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had numerous people recommend that to me. <coughs> um, I haven't watched it because I'm busy. What am I watching currently? Doing a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I'm also watching Shinkalion. I don't know that one. Uh, it's about a bunch of kids who... Bad start. Let me finish. Let me finish. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. So, long story short, the entire Japanese train system is a means of rapid deployment of giant robots. The entire Shinkansen thing. Because each Shinkansen, and these are like named Shinkansen on train lines, are actually giant robots. Hmm. So, you okay, Sam? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, it turns out... Man. Quaver. <laughs> it's just... It is. I, I can't tell Sam about this because if she hears it, she'll want to watch it. And she's already... And, she doesn't, and she'll have to buy the merch for it because it is a huge toy ad. So... Oh, fuck. So basically, long story short, one, it turns out kids are the best pilots for these things, but not in like an Evangelion child soldiers kind of way, but in like a legitimate, we're, on, we're friends with the power of adventure kind of way. Okay. And I just, I finally got my hands on it, and it's really cool, and I'm going to be checking it out. Okay. That'd be a USB key. I've been enjoying the light novel, Isekai, How a Realist Hero <coughs> Rebuilt the Kingdom. Look, if you can show me an Isekai without the same fucking female lead who's, I'm happy and bubbly with huge tits, I'll read it. Noriko? No, because Noriko is just a good character. You know the one, Sam, the one that normally has pink hair? Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her. The, the, the lead protagonist girl who has, who the main character does something by accident that he did not intend to save her soul, but ends up being the most important thing she d he did for her. And she's kind of crazy. Just, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> just not like crazy in a Yandere way. She's just, I fell in love with him just now and my feelings are developing. What do I do with these feelings? You Swallow them. You can shut up. <laughs> you shut up and we don't hear about your feelings. Swallow your feelings. Of course, it's giant train robots. Yeah, it's all Shinkan. Yeah, I can't. Is this say. a uh, is this a uh, Sentai or is it an anime? Anime. Ooh, tell me more. Uh, it's about seventy episodes. They're getting a movie with time travel in it. Oh shit! I'll have to skip that one. No, the movie's not out yet. No, uh, uh, time travel is a hokey mechanism. No, no, it's uh, actually really cool. It's actually really cute this time. Endgame did a pretty good, all right trip with it. So does Landscape. Hmm. Still haven't finished that. Yeah. I don't have the heart to. I know. <laughs> you fucking blew my mind. I'm sorry. Ah! sorry. Not that sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I showed. I showed I had to both. Fucking finish it. I showed both Mike and Dave. Uh, oh I keep hearing slime is a good one. I gotta read it. Steins Gate and they're and my, Dave's mad at me because it's good <laughs> and he just no I'm not mad at you because it's good I'm I'm not mad at you at all I just don't have the heart to put it back on because it, it's just heartbreaking it's so sad <laughs> it gets good it gets really happy at the end I really fucking hope so because I'm gonna have to dive back in Jackie yeah, don't put that up in the message because she'll read it huh let me uh, Steins Gate would you like a Dr Pepper Dave yes yes no one from that. Oh, uh, oh boy! Yeah, that fucking happens. Am I gonna read it and then I'm gonna go what the fuck and then I'm gonna have go to ahead, watch go it? ahead and read it. Man. No, tastes oh. like a touchdown. Anyway, uh <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Doctor Pepper's uh, uh, it features rather predominantly in. Uh, um, oh, what does he call it? The liquid which. Boost my intelligence and imagination. Or? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ambrosia. The ambrosia, yeah. And that's uh, that's the commuter guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's uh, no, that's no, that's, that's, that's Hoenn Kilma. Really, Hoenn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He says that. Okay, nice. I'm not gonna take the bits off, the drill bits off yet for this because I love these. Because I, I can see the uh, the regular ones, and then I look over here, and I'm like, oh my god, these are pretty. He does his nails in his special mode. <laughs> Um, what the hell? That's readable for me. No, don't tell me I ruined it. Oh, God, I didn't put the attachment on. Oh, my heart fucking stopped. Jesus hey. Christ. Hey. Hey. 
Bone Arrow anime I've ever watched lately is Lupin the Third Part 5. Really, really want to see the recent CGI. Ooh, I want to see Lupin the Third Part Part 4 is really good, too. I watched two episodes of it, and I was like, when did Connell have time to make an anime about Dr. Terror <laughs> on <laughs> What, Lupin the Third Part? No, Steins Gate. Oh, Stein, yeah. You know, he, yeah. he actually argued he's that's him. Oh, oh, no, no, I've met the boy. <laughs> <laughs> you got Hoi Kyoma. <laughs> You're an aspiring ho- yo- in your Kyoma. Hoi Kyoma! Plus he's not, you know, uh, his actions are fucking the time stream. Give him time. If you gave Kong a time machine, I think he'd screw with it enough. It's yeah. so cool, yeah, it. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's from the, from the sub. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see how this looks. I am a mad scientist. You're so cool. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he says this to the black guy, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <coughs> this is the only English he knows. <laughs> it's all the English he's fucking Google. Yes, at which, point, at which point one of the characters goes, did you just say son of a bitch to a black man? <laughs> and I'm like, that's hilarious. I've been enjoying two but, isekai titles. One is about a guy who's already been on his journey and returns to his world and only wants to live a normal high school life, but can't. Seen that one. That was actually funny. Because um, the entire premise yeah. is he beats the bad guy, uh, leaves the world. Mm. Uh, he's like, I want to go home and I just want to have my mom's cooking again. I miss it. Mm. And I miss <laughs> toilets oh. and the internet and everything, right? It's like, I'm just going to go back. And me- meanwhile, like the side, the main side heron's like, but I love you. What? I love Stu. And he and he goes. While, while the other side girl's like, you know, you should have just told him you love him, right? He might have stayed. It's like, no, I couldn't. Well, he's gone now. We went home. This is all your fault. <laughs> and he gets home. And he's like, what was I doing? Get out of here, you nerd. Oh, yeah. I was getting my ass kicked when I got brought over. <laughs> hey, guys. Just <laughs> pounds the ass out of these guys. <laughs> it's like, hi, guys. And it turns out there's like monsters and shit uh in his world too right yeah. but he's still level and he has all of his gear oh shit so he goes out it's like what do you got monster what's and he does his level scan oh for fuck's <laughs> flex it and it dies <coughs> it's, it's kind of like a one punch man isekai kind of gag so it's good it's, it's actually fun oh yeah when you uh when you max level and then go back yeah. to the uh, training uh, uh tutorial era right area right, right, right yeah and now he's like but he's leveled up his intelligence and, and all the and all that stuff yeah do you still have that? Yeah. What? No, sure. Uh, it's just a manga right now. Oh, okay. So, and I don't think it's been brought over properly. Okay. Um, I need but to know the name of this show. Um, do you have the training? I, I have. I have it on my folder. I can't remember the name, guys, because I have it on my fold on my uh, Word document of at manga titles to watch. that I read, right, and wait for for an anime. Because mm-hmm. um, okay. it's only like ten chapters in. So it's not even properly out yet. I don't even know if it will get an anime. That's where the phase we're at. If you want an anime to watch, I do recommend... Um, Call Me Love Sorry, not Call Me. Uh, Kaguya Love, Love is War. War. Yeah. Because it is good. It's very good. It's very good romance anime. It's like... It's Mike's saying good things about an isekai anime. Yeah. But it's... Um, it is good. It, it was legitimately good fun. I it's, I can also see where this would get really stupid really fast. I'm really nervous about it turning into a really bad story. For obvious reasons. Because I'm awake. Ow. What? It's pointy. Oh. We'll bug you on Discord, Mike. There's also one SK where the main character is a girl, but specked into nothing but defensive bows down to k on with a bunch of cute girls and a guy or two doing cute k- MMO. <coughs> yeah, that's the one where the girl's got a shield and she has a turtle... And she's just hacking the game at this point just so she can advance, right? I've seen a lot of memes of her. That one's a legit anime right now, though, not a manga. Um, Do you have the train one? What? Do you have the train one? The train anime? Yeah, it's Shinkalion. Oh, you have that? I have it, yeah. Ooh, now you guys big here. Mm-hmm. It's got like 76 episodes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Once again, not promoting game. piracy. Not promoting piracy here. <coughs> You didn't do, hear nothing! Please do not pirate things. Uh, even though it's really eBay. <laughs> okay, please do not pirate things, even though sometimes it's the only way to get things. And if you do wish to do so, at least support the original creators. Yes. Don't be an asshole. Escaflone is no, I best enjoyed only as a series, considering how much the main girl underwent a personality change with the film. 
Yeah, I've heard no no good things about the Escaflowne movie. Are I there? have the Escaflowne movie, I think. I have that and the series. Is the movie any good? I have. Re- I enjoyed it. Pirate bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, like for the thousandth time, I have to say this because if I encourage piracy of stuff that really won't be affected by piracy, this is a tabletop show, and a whole bunch of tabletop creators are going to get fucked. Mm-hmm. By that, and I don't want to do that, and I refuse to do that on a moral level, because some of these people are just doing shit right out of their home, and they deserve to be paid. Mm-hmm. Could they make a gun to Misakai? They did. It's called uh, build Dri- build divers. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's it's what it is. Yep. Look at oh, she's very small and elvy and boobs. Boobs yeah. <laughs> and boobs. She certainly has those. She's got boobs, dude. They're almost as big. She as has her boob face. plate. Yeah, the big plate. It's like. Okay, if I'm, I'm not a woman, nor do I understand the follies of a wo- follies and challenges of a woman. But is it not better for a boob plate to be like one solid piece as opposed to having a cleft in the middle because it could break yes. your ribs? Is that that's a thing? Yes. Okay, so I'm not crazy, right? No. Okay. There's no reason for boob socks ever. They're hot though. Well, There's no reasons for boob socks. They're really hot, Sam. <laughs> but Sam, the picture. <laughs> the picture. Boob socks. Yeah, she's wearing boob socks. She's got boob socks. Oh, I read the official Dragon Ball Isekai they did with Yamcha. I've read that. That's so good. There's a Dragon Ball Isekai. So this dude, right? Huge Dragon Ball fan has a crush on Bulma. He reincarnate. He comes into Dragon Ball as Yamcha. Uh-oh. No, it's amazing. Because he's the best. He's a better at being Yamcha than Yamcha. Well, that's not hard. Because he's like, wait. Oh, no, I'm Yamcha. I'm going to lose Bulma to Vegeta. What do I do? Wait. I know everything that's going to happen. So he goes to... He wishes... Before... Like, after Dragon Ball ends, he starts training for the Z Saga. So he goes to King Kai early by wishing to visit him. He goes to... And he goes to Planet Namek to get the limiter release done early. Mm -hmm. And he's just doing all this shit. He's like, okay, if I do this, and I do this, and I do this, and I do this, I'll be ahead of the curve, and I'll be able to help Goku... He's like, shit, when I hit the Android Saga, I'm useless. <laughs> Fuck. It's so, so good. I love that. Why does Zero from Mega Man X have boobs? A friend. They're not hot, though. They look silly. <laughs> Row boobs. Boob socks on armor hurt you more than help. Need to read that. I feel bad for Giamcha, man. One of the strongest people on the planet, if only the plot wasn't bonkers stronger. It is hilarious. It's also officially translated, too. Yeah, no, it is legit good. Because I don't, I don't want to say more than that. Because there is a bad guy in there, and it's just a really interesting story. But like, if this had been Yamcha's character development without the Isekai part, nope. this would have Yamcha would have been just as good, mm. and it wouldn't have changed much. Because ultimately, he doesn't change much. Because mm. he just wants to be the best Yamcha he can be. Okay. The manga called the hero. Who return remain the strongest remains. Oh, the hero who return remains the strongest in the modern world. Now I'm debating whether or not to uh, cut any more parts because uh, there's 30 minutes left. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done today myself. Yeah, I have enough to finish the. All right, chat. Let's shoot the shit. The, oh, the... Sam can. Uh... I Yamcha can still has had a good turn in the Dragon Ball Super manga. Yeah, I've heard that. A lot of like the old human guys got a real good return in Dragon Ball Super, especially Roshi and Krillin. So Krillin's a cop now. <gasps> Does he have the mustache? No. Damn. But he's he's legit a cop now. And I love that. I love the spirit. Well, of now it. he's super powered. <laughs> I think to I'm a else. cop now. <laughs> and like eighteen is apparently head over heels for him. Good. As it should be. They're married. Not if you follow the hentai world. <laughs> um. Goes away. Everybody else gets a shot at her in the hentai world. Yeah, right. Including randos that are... T- no, yeah, right. no, no. Who the fuck are you? I'm an original character. Clearly. Stop wishing to fuck 18 on the Dragon Balls. Okay. I'm a sector. Tien was great too. Sh- yeah, but I hate Roshi. I'm a sex offender, but I'm old, so it's funny. It's funny because he fails. It's not funny because he's old. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I'm not wearing <laughs> pants. It's funny. It's not funny because Roshi is old. It's funny because Roshi is frequently hoisted by his own batard, especially in the cartoon. He's like, I'm going to shrink down and watch Bulma pee. I fell in the toilet. No, no, no. 
Okay. We're not doing that again. Not, that was a bad day. Right? That's why it's funny. It's like, oh, Roshi, when will you learn? It's like Tom and Jerry, except it's got perversion. Yes. Wild perversion. 18 and Krillin daughters named Marin, not to confuse with Krillin, Krillin's brief girlfriend, Marin. Never do that. Jesus, that would have been a great Dragon Ball Z abridged joke. <laughs> oh. It's like, what'd you name your daughter? Marin, after your ex? Uh -oh. Shut up. Shush, shush. Stop talking. 18 will kill you if you mess up the name. Did anyone get the number of that bitch? 18! <laughs> They even gave him an arc and super to overcome that so he could fight in the tournament. Marin and Marin are both puns on Krillin's name, as I understand it. Oh, that's fair. Or she, I mean. <coughs> Just remember, ACAB doesn't, uh, doesn't stand for all cops are bastards. It stands for assigned cop at birth. I'm sorry, ma'am. He's a cop. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Sam? Oh, it's the plate she found. Comes out the womb uh, well, with a mustache and aviators on. No, wait, what are you doing here, son? Are you on the drug? You were just born! <laughs> Never too early to start. Get yourself off that hophead, son. <laughs> are you the dope? Smack? <laughs> Crank? <laughs> the damn dog? <laughs> the downward dog? That's a yoga pose. Not where I've been. Oh, you were just born! I've been to the other side, man! I know what's coming. New drugs. With stupider names. Alright, let's put that there for now. Alright, I'm gonna... It was bored above the speed limit. Yeah, it's light, so it's fine. Dave, does that include a siren noise? Woo! Maybe. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> if Small I was ever in a squeeze. car, I'd, I'd ask him to put on the lights. Come on, bud. It's my first time. All right. Whee! <laughs> oh, I was actually hanging out with some cops a couple of weeks ago, and I kind of wish I'd convinced them to handcuff me and put me on the hood of their car while taking a picture. <laughs> Just be like, guys, they caught me! <laughs> well, he was caught by doing madness. <laughs> yeah, we kind of figured it would be the madness. What'd you catch him for, catch him for jaywalking? <laughs> Fuck you! I was drawing a symbol in the street. I wish the Sonic film was entirely set in the world of the first 10 minutes. A podcast I listened to was riffing on a potential Blue Lives Matter joke about Sonic. What? Okay. Ooh. DC goddamn China Cat. Okay. What is China Cat? The drug. Oh, okay. I eventually pulled Daddy. the oh my rights here like time joke. Tiger. Time Tiger. China Cat. Time Tiger. So I'm the asshole. He's still translating. Okay. Thank you, Jack, for translating. Thank you, Jack. The chairman. Here, you can read it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pop here's on the official website. Yeah. Mike arrested for smuggling Japanese rolling mouse. No, nah, man, it's all clean. I ain't no hophead. I ain't no hophead. I, I got my shit legit from Bandai, I do. Swear offs. Turn. Oh my god. They're singing along with you, dude. <laughs> These kids are on spit on goofballs. I watch it look. Cop shows. Okay, let's see here. Something was happening with this box, and I would know why. Oh, it's fine. Oh man, I'm all about watching uh, Super Troopers. That's a good time. Oh, you have to see Super Troopers too. It's a good time. I hate how everyone saw Super Troopers too without me. Uh, no one took me along. No, uh, when when I watched it, it was in a backyard barbecue. Super Troopers too? Yeah. So it's been out for a while uh, at that point. Yeah. I wasn't with the uh, group that uh, went without you. And I'm like, several people in the crew went to go see that movie and no one took me. 
You feel like a very spurned date. I am a spurned date. I need attention. Double in here. That bolter has two purity seals. He's twice the pure. All right, I've got three screws done. Oh, fuck. How's she coming? May, well, I, may I see the one? Yeah. I love how Here we go. she's so parts for me that you couldn't... She has literally her vehicle mode and her robot mode. In two as, separate as things. As two separate things. Oh. Was that what it was like for the brothers? No. They they would actually transform. Well, here's the thing. Like She's so fucking slim mm -hmm. that you can't transform her. Yeah. Without her being giant and blocky. Yeah. So you those are her any, boobs. Yep, those are her boobs. Those are where they supposedly are. With her hair and all that. That's cool. Yeah. I love how her fucking antenna is. She doesn't stand up. She's she too she's, she's too back heavy. She's too back heavy. Well, well you have to remove the uh, well, yeah. antenna or use the antenna as a prop. Yeah. Or, um... Do you like her, though? I do. I really do. She's very dainty. Here. She here. is. I got it. Yeah? You got... Mike needs attention quicker, Boom, but done. ignore him. New crossbone banger. No, no. Here, Sam. You use Sonic, the Sonic uh, top of the antenna, put it on the bumper. And <laughs> <laughs> she's upright. Done. Now you she's, know how to pose her. She is mostly heel. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's all heel. Man. Imagine a drop kick from that. Go right through your car door. Hey, yeah. Oh, my God. There's so much property damage. Ta-da. Here's the second one. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But... I have half an hour left. Maybe do you think I can get the other one, like the other robot done? No idea. Mm. I believe in you. You believe in me? I believe in you. I believe. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in me that believes in you. <gasps> Gaga. That's nope. really cool, though. It's not Gaga. Gaga. That's uh, it's Gurren Gurren Tengen Tapa and Gurren Lagann. I love how that's like this is what it's like. The first two Gal Geiger uh, brothers. What are you? I'm a fire truck. I'm a crane to get people out of danger. What are you? I'm a dump truck. I'm a cement mixer. What are you? I have a missile launcher and I have a radome for shooting lightning. Rock on. Checks Those out. Those don't sound safe. <laughs> I'd be like, checks out. I'm not arguing with, uh, with a uh, truck with a laser beam on it. <laughs> That's a health code violation right there. You know, the health code of dying. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, this, the thing, um, there are two deals. I can't remember what their powers do, though. Oh. One oh. is sonic damage, and the other one is, um, missiles. Missiles. So but also her damage. shrapnel can be used. The shrapnel from her missiles can be used as an array. Yep. To, um, activate. Yep. Oh, here's, uh, here's a great thing. Stuff. Designed in Great Britain, printed in China. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's, uh, yeah. That's Warhammer for you. That's something you need to know about the English right there. Yep. Game uh, Workshop. <laughs> D. If Mike suddenly turns up wearing a common advisor, we riot. Why? <clears throat> Why would you riot? I'd love to have a common advisor. A <laughs> 20. Well, that was a bunch of silence. <laughs> so, you hey, keep that's talking. why I filled it. <laughs> So, chat, what are you guys thinking, doing, talking? They both have tits on the underside of their car. Yes, they do. <gasps> They're both ladies? They're yeah. both ladies. Nice. They're sisters. They're on these sides. Okay, um, now i got to see the boobs on the bottom of her. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there they are. Very much like boys, they have to see the boobs. <laughs> yeah, the check yeah. under the, the but, axle. But the point is, you can't shame us for that. <laughs> We're body positive. You're body positive? Yeah. All cars should have boobs on the underside. <laughs> <laughs> My car needs boobs on the underside. You can put them installed. I don't. I, I don't want like, truck nuts. If they're not from truck a tail nuts. hitch, I want boobs just jiggling on the underside of the gas tank. <laughs> you, you, you just have it go up. You have it go up. You have like a waifu face in there and boobs. Yep. And the McKay goes ah. <laughs> <laughs> go for an oil change. That's not your car, man. Itself. You have the. You somehow get it wired so that. Um, you somehow get it wired so that when the nut goes off for uh, the oil, you hear it. Tommy. <laughs> When you take off the cap for the oil change. Dummy! Got ya! Yeah! I've been hearing rumors of a Gurren Logan sequel for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because we want Simon to do something. 
Um, a friend got me a vanity, so I no longer have to use the bathroom mirror in my house. The only mirror in the place I, to work on makeup. So that's great, Satan. We can mod that. I am in recovery for the inventory project yesterday. Okay. Um, no, we could do that, Dave. Hmm? We could set that up under your car. I don't want it on my car. It'll be so Five filthy. seconds. Five seconds of silicone, black paint, and a fake waifu face. I can do this. I will. I will do this. I will do this. You, next time you crash here, dude. Oh boy. I will. I swear to God, sneak under your car, jack it up, go underneath it. This may get me. In, I may die like this, babe. Uh, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pretty much gonna die. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> what is your? I took this what's out too your, early. Fuck. What? I took out the wrong part too early. Uh, What's your thoughts on Star Trek Picard so far? I've only seen the first episode on YouTube. Halfway through, it went downhill. Ooh. I haven't watched it yet. I've heard I haven't seen the last two episodes due to me forgetting it was on Thursdays. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to watch them. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy, enjoy it so far. Um, so, <laughs> huh? You could mod the car horn so it's just a man me. Yeah! <laughs> How big do they need to be? <laughs> I'm currently trying to set up an online storefront so I have some way to make money while waiting for Canadian immigration to get back to me. Ooh, I'm sorry, yeah. Hello? Um, I put up plotting a, sy a system-neutral trilogy of adventures in the small town where it is from the 80s to the 2000s. Part of a plan to open up Patreon. Interesting, Rob Hagen. Um, Fuck you. Pew. How big do they need to be? How big can we get them? Oh, boy. Well, if we uh, make a trip to the uh, local uh, uh, adult oh, no. uh, store. Oh, no. No, no. I had the worst idea. Oh, no. Put just, it away. Let's just say the mechanic is curious and he reaches yep. out to touch him. Touch the boob. Oh, my God. They're visible from the side. She's got si tasteful side boob from I the side. <laughs> no. No, I need to say this. And we've loaded them up, the boobs up with some kind of liquid. <laughs> she squirts out the <laughs> boobs. <laughs> I that. Oh my god, you yeah, can feel the it. boobs from the side on both of them. <laughs> Where, on the underside? Yeah, look. From you, you turn it sideways. Oh yeah, you can see them. Yeah, yeah they protrude. Yeah. Can you imagine the chafing of the car tits reach the ground? Elevator pitch for the town. Kevin Smith's Amity Island. Double F cup in 30 days. Why would you put them on the underside? <laughs> What the hell, Mike? <laughs> because I would argue that if not, I guess we're doing that. Be any trans gimmick transformer. He'd be, be an action master because the action and the name is all you need. I'm entering a lot of. I was entering a lot of RPG books and box sets into the Alexandria RPG collection. Nice. See, there's boobs on the inner side of this truck. You're doing God's work, Tipsula, trying to keep this stuff alive. Well, this if lady's you... got this lady's upper torso is really loose. Yep. She drops around like a bubble bubble bubble. Get your shit together, madam. Capture your Those ship. look perilously close to reaching the ground. What? Her boobs. Her boobs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one speed bump yeah. and bam. Yeah, they're touching the ground. Boob slap. Like one nickel in there. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. But that's the attention to detail you expect from Japan and perverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yep, that's about right. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's my worry about putting them on the bottom of my car is uh, I go over one speed bump and they are just boob slapped. <laughs> just like, sir. You no, hit the bump no. and you just hear, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, let's say they shear off. You have Ooh. to, you see someone going, sir, you dropped your, what the fuck? <laughs> Drive away. <laughs> now I guess it would be the canceled version of Optimus Prime that was a power ahead target master. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, that is exactly the attention to detail I expect from Japan. And perverts. <laughs> yeah. I, st I, I don't know if this translation is true, but there is a clip of Miyazaki yelling about waifu culture in Japan. Yes, yes. I, I don't I, know if that's I, I an accurate that. translation. Where he's like, I hate these fucking pedophiles with these 14-year-old girls doing this shit. This isn't why I got an anime. And someone interpreted it as, do you mean we need more MILF porn? <laughs> it's like no I'm down for that what <laughs> no no you fool he's sick of sexualization in anime period you kidding he's me still... I'm 35 I need this 
Still better than car nuts, Mike. Those I know truck nuts exist. Yeah, truck I know. Nuts I know there's nuts. guys out there that actively go to clip off truck nut truck nuts. I just want to have a, a can of blue spray paint and just spray any truck nuts I find blue. I've only ever seen like one set ever. I, I've seen plenty in uh, in the GTA. Okay, so they are. They thing. exist. Yeah. But uh, what drives me nuts I'm, is maybe it's because I work in a library. I think like drives, what drives you nuts? Oh! <laughs> not a kiss, not a perp. All about consent. <laughs> no, yeah. Can you be? Is is it perverted to not ask for consent? I thought being a pervert just means you like being a delinquent, not not having consent. Because not having consent is rapey. I don't know. I don't know the terminologies. The foot I wet by design looks like bubblegum crisis hard hits. That's actually a compliment, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Dave, did you want to see the Furai model windblade? That's got all this controversy? Yes. Okay. I mean, I've seen the uh, Sam's you can grab, RC. You can grab the thing. The hips for days. What, what thing? You can grab the keyboard and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you you saw my, my dummy thick yeah, uh, yeah, RC. RC. <laughs> dummy thick RC. I love her, but her thigh is dummy thick. They you go for days. Um, YouTube is eating my comments. Then stop swearing, guys. When you swear less, we swear <laughs> YouTube cycles you out. And we don't see it in restream. Okay, I need the keyboard. Okay, we're not gonna see your chat messages for a second because I'm showing Dave this. So put a pin in that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so messages. We'll be right back. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to extend the window a little bit. So where's the artwork? So that's the artwork of her. I'm fucking down to that. Okay. That's the first shot of her. Right? Mm-hmm. Where's the shot that pissed everybody off? The butt one. I'm trying to find the butt one. That's the problem. No, no. There it is. That's the one. That's what pissed everybody off. Oh, you mean the uh, tracer pose? No, no the ass, the, the ass, ass cheek, <laughs> the ass cheek plates that piss is piss, oh. uh, piss everybody off. That isn't that big. Truck nuts are to rural dudes in the twenties as car eyelashes are to rich ladies in their fifties. Prove me wrong. YouTube is eating my comments. The only tasteless car decorations I've seen in recent memory were Confederate flag. Oh, hanging from a window which Ooh. I cut off and then ran from my own ride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Squares only count in the first two minutes on YouTube. No, can't even say boobs. Boobs. <gasps> boobs. It's boobs. Oh, you did uh, right there. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck, so, fuck, 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 fuck. So, after the stream tonight, I am going to put up the survey, uh, not the survey, the, key, the, um, the, the vote for what I am going to play for next Sunday before we do Cyberpunk. I'll put Valhalla on if people want. I'll figure out some other stuff to put on. Yeah, just spell it. Spell it, bubes. B e w b e s. Bubes. bubes. Yeah, yes. I should get around <sighs> it. But yeah, I hope you guys. Uh, Are we near the end? Oh, we got like fourteen minutes yeah. left. Yeah. Jesus, that's an articulate ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only transformer that could actually twerk. Yeah. Boy, 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 boy. Um, oh my god, that reminds me of that music video by, uh, um, it was, uh, something Sound Collective. Um, here, I'll give you guys something to Google, because it is delightful. In a world where dancing has, uh, fallen off, shall I say. Yeah. Uh, everybody's down, uh, let's see, uh... <clears throat> Torso so far. It looks good. I know. Wait, are her stocks posable? No, they're not. Oh, yep. They're just not oh, uh, I just looked it up. Man, that seems excessive. <laughs> <laughs> the little of the fan base is like, well, we respect Mike's opinion, and he's right. Maybe we should have a moderate. Jesus, look at that ass! But yeah, uh, if you want to see something similar, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, a group called Basement Jacks, J-A-X-X, -X, and the song is Never Say Never. That... Features a twerking robot. <laughs> okay. Because I gotta bring funk back. Twerk formers. Michael Bay wants to know your location. <laughs> yeah, everyone's uh, looking it up now. It's like, no. wow, that's a lot of ass. So yeah, if you want to see more of that, uh, Basement Jacks, Never Say Never. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's Ooh. a good song too. It's a really good song, and um, it's uh, um, it has these uh, Japanese researchers, and they're like, we can't have sex until yep. the pro we can't have sex until uh, the project is done to motivate them to get the project done, and uh, they get it done, and now they have a twerk bot 1.0. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. And uh, there's just, it was like a, a year, years long proje project. Um, and uh, oh it was pretty awesome. Please go in. Oh my God, why? <laughs> don't me, don't me some nature. Oh my. Uh, now I've got Electric Barbarella playing in my head. Yep. How's it going in your bed? That's a good time. Hang on. What? Did you did you go to the video, Sergeant Spade? You shouldn't. You should never go to a link Dave sends you. Hey, I, I told you to Google it on your own. It's awesome. Yo, wait, <laughs> like that absolves you. I'll show you. Goober. You goober. Any questions, chat? We're in the last 10 minute stretch. By all means, ask them, because I'm relaxing. Come back. Yes, Sam. Can you, can you get that Never in? Never mind. Okay. The nub has to go out to the outer part. Thank you. Sir. Ooh. She did it. <laughs> are we gonna uh, are we gonna stream that? Nope. Okay. That's just us hanging out. That's yeah, just us. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it, guys. That's a uh, it, that's a team it, building thing. Yeah, we're doing team building stuff. Cool. Well, I know I'm doing it for the rest of the night. Can you please turn off the screen because people can see the stuff? There sure you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send that to you. Uh, yeah, uh, Talk where, Dave, thing. what? Someone once told me that Yowie and Jed and to stop it, you're hurting my ass. Oh, God. They form us a sort of wrecking ball scrotum joke. Oh, God. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm safe. I'm I missed safe. what the name of it was, so my curiosity can't overwhelm me. Nah, I didn't look it up. That description is what made me go, what? Why did oh, okay. the Japanese think the importing kanji from China was a good idea? Um, <laughs> Jack's complaining about the translation. They imported a lot of things from China and then, uh, kind of expanded on it. Uh, but yeah, Basement Jacks, Never Say Never. Fantastic uh, music video. It's the it's the meme. It's the meme where it's two people talking, but the one person, the first person speaking is to China and the second person is Japan. Why do you keep acting like you're superior? Because I am superior. <laughs> Which, I lost count. Saying... How many people are on the D20 Live crew in total? Okay, so there's the original like fifteen. Four. There's me. There's the original four, which is Dave, uh, Jordan, Scott, and Tom. Uh, so that's five. Sam joined us after that at six. Did you forget Devin? Uh, Devin comes in after because he moved back. He came in before me. All right, so Devin. Oh, yeah, right, Devin. For a while, then he came back. Devin, Sam. Uh, and then there is Dom, Beth, and Nicole. That put us at 10. And now with Cassie and Colin, that puts us at 12. Okay. Yeah, even dozen. Uh, eventually we'll end up with a baker's dozen, and we won't know what to do! <laughs> so when Tyler comes back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Uh, what was that, uh, wrong? I think they're looking at the butt you put, you told them to go look for. It's a good time. <laughs> it's a good One time. One more and you need a round table. Yeah. Yep. 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 One more, we will literally need an office with the roundest fucking table. It's like, all are equal here. Then why do you have a gauntlet mic? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> all are equal here, Sam. Why is Mike's chair like 15 feet taller? Because <laughs> I like it! And then your legs get a kicky doo 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 doo. <laughs> But yeah, Basement Jacks is good times. Uh, their music in general is fantastic. Mm. Um, otherwise, um, it's not the Miami Music Machine. It's uh, something Sound Collective. Um, You're saying words, and I respect that. But I need you to know that I mostly listen to Japanese music. It's fine. Mike is more equal than others animal farm style. Fuck you. Thank you, Jack, for translating, by the way. <clears throat> um, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's not a dictatorship. It's, it's not a dictatorship. I'm just a guy who puts his pants on both legs at a time because <laughs> I'm in a hurry 
Who sometimes makes a, backwards. Who makes a whistling sound sometimes when he poops. You know, I'm just, <laughs> just a normal guy, you know? My eyes blink like okay, this. Okay, honey, if you're going to make a joke, please just fix, put that in. <laughs> okay, I mean, later tonight, I mean, you know. Wait, the... Oh, this fell out. That's, that's fine. It just... Hold up for me, would you, darling? Well, I, uh, do you have your baby name or something? You all right, babe? Yeah, I'm, I'm stressing out just because of the fact I want to get this done before we cut. Crap. Do you mind if we stay a little longer in order to get this, in order just for me to finish this one? All right. Cool. You really want to finish her today? I just want to finish the second robot part of her. Okay. Not necessarily the whole thing. So, did you ever play Dragon Ball Z Fighter story mode as world's greatest? I don't think you've ever played a Dragon Ball Z Fighter game to begin with. I have not. Uh, Mike is more equal cool than the first album. No worse. That Starfighter elf design reminds me of Starcraft Ghost. Hmm? Your elf. Reminds him of Oh, ghost. yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, they, do, they do look like that. Uh. And you get back into J-pop. Eventually spend too much time in Toku music, music trenches. Same. Who puts the pants on one brain at a time? I do. And my slug. <laughs> His name is Franklin. He says he likes people. Sometimes. Sometimes. Other times he just makes a wee -wee 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 sound and I just can't think. Franklin's loud. Now Franklin's mad that I've told people about him and is wiping my memory. <laughs> oh, hey, we're doing craft stream. <laughs> Hi, it's everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, my God. No, no, no. Fuck. Did I mention I'm tired? Tips are, isn't that the called being a Twi'lek from Star Wars and technically those aren't pants? That's right. That's their Twi'lek harness for their tentacles. Their head pants. We got to the Twi'lek episode of The Mandalorian and Sam asked me, Mike, are all Twi'leks just either perverts or sociopaths? I'm like, yes. Somehow, canonically, yeah. that's how that happened. Yeah. You're either a slut. Twi'leks are either sluts. For some reason in Star Wars canon, are either sluts, depi sorry, depicted as sluts or just fucked up. Sometimes both. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that um, headpants? Yeah, yeah. It's it's effectively a head bra because their um, Twi'lek head noodles are uh, heavy. And I found an RC with real breasts. That's actually a mod for a third-party RC. Sorry? Okay, so what happened was someone decided to make a mod part for RC where you could take off her normal breastplate and there would be tits. And they are very soft and made of silicone. There is a Sith Twi'lek who's both from the, the both Oop, in the there EU, it is. which is extra fun. Yeah, good times. The Twi'leks became sex workers in order to gain spacefaring tech. God forbid a female Twi'lek will wear clothing. Couldn't have that. Someone would melt or something. There are exceptions to the Twi'lek rule in the novels, especially Noara Ven in the X-wing books. Yes, and I believe there's a really good Twi'lek character in Rebels as well. Yeah, yeah, Hera. Yeah, she's actually like just a legit person. Yeah. And not a psychopath or a slut. Yeah. Which is nice. She's space mom. Yeah. She's a good person. And she is a ace fighter pilot, too. Yeah. So she's an empowered woman. Cool. No, that's good. Yeah, Hera's she's Salindra. not... Uh, oh, yeah, I've heard great things about Hera. The tendrils on the Twi'lek are called Leku. Yep. Twi'lek, Leku. It's, it's, like, it's, good. it's nice to have that kind of diversity for a character for the species. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that thing they wear on their heads is pretty much a head bra because the leku are heavy. That's fair. Um, but apparently, they also uh, show uh, if they're well hydrated. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like some have uh, stunted uh, leku. Oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Well, they live on a desert planet. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, whatever the heck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the toy like homeworld is. Yeah. He's effectively Could be just a toy or lek. Really no way, no way. Leku Prime! Why'd you name it after your head dicks? <laughs> uh, apparently the Palpatine Rise of Rise of Skywalker was also a clone. Okay. Cool. And they Lie. Are made of super Lie. sensitive Lie. green tissue. Oh. Lie. I can play Dragon Ball's DB Fighters mode as long as Nauticus calls... As Lord Nauticus. As Lord Nauticus, because the story about soul possessing different DB characters meaning means he's inside them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Butt stuff, yes. We all like that. No. 
That stuff. <laughs> yes. That stuff. Quite charming. Quite charming. Can't. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Jolly good, jolly good. Jolly good, yes, yes, yes. Butt stuff, yes, yes. All good, yeah. <laughs> righto, righto. Good. Good. Nothing quite like a nice tasty ass that you could lose your face in. I know my old friend, Can- the Duke of Canterbury, lost his mustache last week to a lonely buxom lady in the back. He's still trying to find it. <laughs> oh. You right there? Pull your back. You want to rub? Where you want to go? Down. That's the D20 Live uh, first aid, visit, uh, uh. or on staff first aider, mm-hmm. technically. Yeah. Unless anyone else volunteers. Are you all right? Can I help you? Ouch. <laughs> oh. Um, motherfucker, how dare you ruin my bag? Oh, there's Tiga. Not weirdo. you, because you're working on it. Duck but fuck me, god damn it. Jimmy McCoy, oh. unusual family. <laughs> I think we peaked on that one. Yep. Uh, so yeah. Oh uh, my god, why? Why does it hurt? Oh fuck. Uh yeah. Uh, I'm a good boyfriend. Well uh, well then to put her through me. seven shades of hell. Uh, to get her uh, muscles sore. I'm sorry. So they were working out a muscle. And a am I right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm still looking for that uh, that group. Uh, it's not sneaky sound system. Sneaky snook. I realized something. I'm very close to finishing up on the Mandalorian and the Witcher for the scene, for the season. Butter and smart bit. Really? Yeah. Uh, when's uh, Mandalorian season two coming out? Huh? No idea. Okay. Well, I hope they. Well, time uh, for work. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Lunacrat Self Gaming. Bye, Bye Limerick Day. <laughs> Enjoy your Good shift. You. Go have a time. I'm almost done, guys. Don't worry. We won't go that much over time. Um, okay. Try this. Okay. I still haven't sat down to watch The Witcher. I don't have Disney Plus. Caleb is going rocket. Um, uh-huh. Witcher's okay. I've come to a conclusion about Witcher, though. It's a very controversial opinion. Good job. Sorry. Oh, no one's even listening to me. No, go ahead. I was listening. Geralt of Rivia is fucking boring. Hmm? Geralt of Rivia is a boring motherfucker. Oh, boy. The only reason why he's any good is because of the fact that Henry Cavill is playing him. Is playing him, and he's doing a very good job. of, Of putting a personality into where there's nothing. And then they put a bard next to him. Yeah, Jessica, the real, his, the his real, real husband. Ah, uh, yes. Because he's just like, Geralt, Geralt, do you have anyone else putting lotion on your bottom? It's like, yeah, sure. Yennefer's your soulmate, Geralt. <laughs> yeah. Not, 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 not the caddy. Mm, not it. the caddy. Uh, All right. Another Dave tip. Uh, Ministry of Sound. Any of their music videos. Blow your mind. Um, here, Witcher is basically Hercules, Xena, Sinbad, Schlock with an R rating. Yeah, I can see that. Time to fight my dog into the tub. Oh, no! See ya. It's bath time! <laughs> yeah, Ministry the of Sound. The books and the it games sounds. are better. Are they, though? My Polish friend thinks Netflix Geralt is way too muscular compared to the source material. He's way too tan compared to the source material. Yeah. Oh. He was pretty albino yeah. in uh, the games, so... I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But no, like, it's... Geralt... I hate how Geralt talks about everything. Fuck. Because he's just... (laughs) No, that's good. That part's good. Because Geralt, in his own show, is convinced he is the smartest fucking person in the world. And he's not. But he thinks too much about what's going to happen. He's a goddamn witcher. That's what he is. And he's just a... And it just... He ends up getting in trouble anyway. And he's astonished that he does. (laughs) But but I, I'm going to do this. You mean that thing that literally got us in trouble in the first place? Yes. Oh, well, nothing bad's going to happen now. Bad things proceed to happen. happen. Yeah, and he spends like four episodes running away from it. Mm. <laughs> uh. Yeah, even good doggos get kind of stinky. Yeah, and uh, uh, they may not recognize it, but it is good for them. If we could make a giant lake that's just, you know, soapy water and you know, play fetch 
with the, the dog. They will fucking beeline it into the water after that stick. Yeah, my <laughs> dog won't because she's afraid of water. Well, that's because she's. Uh, she's also she's also like she's a sentient wig. She, <laughs> <laughs> she really Dolly, I love you, but your dog is five pounds of fluff and an underbite. <laughs> yeah, she. Really I love Shelly so much. She's so cute, but oh man, is she dumb sometimes. So, Gerald is an idiot. Yeah, he's a dumbass. This is where I might have my first meal of the day. Jesus, Tipsler. Cool. Tipsler, come on, eat something. This is the way I give. I give. This is why I get have cats. Yep. No, no man. Uh, they're Dogs apparently self-cleaning. Than... <laughs> Dogs are better than cats every day. Well, uh, they, uh, yeah. sure, they're emotionally lame, but uh, that lameness is directed right at you. No, they love are, you with the all Dogs their are better heart. than cats. I came up with a bit that explains why they, that's, this is the case. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Okay. So I, I talk to I people. love dogs. I'm allergic yeah. to them. So I talk. I talk to people at works work about this, and some of them are cat owners. And I'm like I say to them, I hate cats, right? They're like, oh, how can you hate a cat? Cats are wonderful. I'm like, and I say this, cats will wreck and scarf the entire bag in one day, and that's what makes them wonderful, Lord Sathian. But they will regret it before. until they forget. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. A dog owner's like, would you have more than one dog? Dog owners go like this. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. But there's no space. There's no space. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I wish. Never, I wish I had a farm. I could never get that. I wish I had a dogs. farm for my dogs to run around. around all of it. Cat I, owners will go. No. No. Don't. And they say it like the cat's gonna fucking hear it. <laughs> <laughs> they say it like the cat. If they the cat hears it, abuse is coming. It's like no one cat. One cat. One cat's no, I couldn't. Like it's a like it's a fucking no cat, like, not the belt. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> right, every fucking time. Sorry, cat lovers, lovers, but it's true. And I say this to the cat lovers at my work, and they lose. They, they get pissed at me. <laughs> like Mike, would you shut up? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me you didn't say that to me. Like the cat would hear you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I went on a walk and to the got McDonald's two hours ago, and you are still going, huh? Yep, Corito Prime, we are. Mike, dogs are better than cats. Cats, so you have chosen death. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, you guys are still going, huh? I just went hung, went hung, wasn't hungry from 10 a.m. to 4.50 p.m. You're local. Oh, oh well, well, that's not right healthy, then. but yeah, that's what you do. Uh, maybe force a power bar? You have an orange? Uh, the oranges are good. Yeah, really great. Like, low-budget hockey teams use them for electrolytes. I've owned 30 <laughs> cats and, like, five dogs in my lifetime. Almost all the cats were strays who gravitated in my family's house. Well, that's your life. That's your mm-hmm. life. All, all bullshit aside, if you love cats, I'm not going to give you crap. I just... <laughs> why? You, you've all heard my no-cat story and why I don't like cats. Babe, Wait, don't can that super mini pla 10 Ryujin set transform, or does it come with all three, all three separate parts? I don't know if it comes with all three separate parts because of the fact that yeah, I've been... Well I see it won't go in. It will, it's just... But, uh... Yeah. Oh, that's why. That's why you're fucked. Okay, I why? got it. Why? I got it. I got it. I got it. Did but yeah, if in? you... Take what? a look. No, you weren't an idiot. It's just there's a thing... Nope. There we go. a hard time. It's fixed now, though. You did it? Yeah, I think I fixed it. So nope. let's get that titty... Let's do this. Let's get them damn titties into place. Whoop, whoop. That's All the right, sound so of the titty clacking in. If you look at this... my baby... And you can see. Robot, hey, you, go, you can see how Shit. lithe and fragile she What's is. Up? I grabbed the wrong piece. And that's and cut it out to preserve the uh, the in show in game. Yeah. In anime, um, uh, female form it's of out this of one. <laughs> no, sorry. Whoop. Ooh, that gets pretty Did close. Did I still cut out the wrong piece? So yeah, you can see how no. uh, she's. Uh, Rather lithe, and um, if you oh, stand up, if you tried to transform her vehicle form, wants to see a WEG Star Wars stream. We're talking about that. Oops, sorry, uh, sorry. We're talking about it. Come on, come on, you can focus. There we go. The thing is, a lot of you guys sent us a lot of RPG books that I'm that I've put off playing for too long, and I will be playing through a lot of them this year. But yeah, if uh, if you actually transformed her from this, she'd be very blocky, um, and uh, you you would have a, a very difficult time getting the final result you wanted. Yeah. 
Sorry if I'm overstepping their sin. I'm pretty sure we already came to those conclusions. But yeah, this is the finished uh, vehicle form for the second one. I don't know her name. That's on your own color. There we go. Sorry, just. And Sam is making amazing progress. Mm -hmm. And we will run a little long just for her. Yep. It won't. You want me to? Okay. Ah. Which way is it going in? Okay. Okay, I need the K10. So, yeah. Dave, keep the check on for a second. I'm helping my baby. Hey, everybody. It's Dave Talk Time. I've taken over. Uh, well, How's it going, everybody? But yeah, Ministry of Sound is pretty awesome. Every music video they've made is fucking... Um, wow. Uh, they uh, they certainly worship the female form uh, in all of its uh, yeah, ways. Yeah. And uh, then Basement Jack's uh, uh, Never Say Never is all about the twerking bot. Uh, and how the, how the jam has left... Uh, society and uh, they've resorted to Japanese uh, scientists to um, <coughs> study uh, twerking and bring it back and sell it wholesale. Dave, do you have any opinion on of Tool and, or their music videos? Tool's music is very good. I like their stuff. Uh, their music videos are nightmare fuel. Um, I saw that twerk bit. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, Tool, uh, they have issues with their visual directors. Uh, <laughs> it's like watching Pan's Labyrinth all over again. Um, have you seen any Tool music videos? No? Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty Pan's Labyrinth theme. Fair enough. <coughs> oh, pardon me, everybody. Uh, otherwise, uh, so we're, uh, working on getting our tip kill teams together. Um, I'm doing a Tau kill team. Uh, Devin, I believe, is doing a Eldar kill team with, uh, I don't know if it's Dark Eldar or Eldar Eldar. Uh, he has Harlequins in it. I'll take a look for that. Uh, I saw, wait, do they have Harlequins in them? Because I think the Harlequins are their, are their own, uh... Oh, here we go. Uh, Asurian. Yeah, I think he's playing those. Uh, otherwise, he's playing Harlequins and they have one model. <laughs> I can reveal something. What's that? I recently purchased what might quite possibly be the last copy available for sale in Canada of Deadlands 20th Anniversary. Woo! Weird Wild West! Uh, yep. Tau Pai Pai Kill Team. What? Does that mean? Don't Wait, Dave at T uh, Dave twenty live. <gasps> no. <laughs> Make that trend. Make that trend. I'm fucking the narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. And uh, um, Jordan is going to be playing Space Marines. He's got some Primaris Marines and he's got some uh, regular Marines, and he's going to make up a. Uh, Oh, uh, Tau Pai Pai Kill G Team? Oh, is that? It's the original Dragon Ball reference. That's why you don't uh, it. Tau Pai Pai, okay. Tau Pai Pai is a fat guy. In, uh, Sorry. That's, uh, uh, I only watched like three episodes in my entire isn't childhood. Isn't Tau Pai Pai that guy in the Red Ribbon Army who Goku just keeps kicking his ass to the point where he has to get cyborg enhancements? Oh, jeez. Well, because when, when Goku fights the it's Red the Ribbon dog, Army. Is he? No. When Goku fights the Red Ribbon Army, a lot of them try so hard to kick his ass with tricks. And it doesn't work. Like, um, you see the, yeah. the short blue guy? No, that's peel off. Okay. So the first guy, Red Ribbon, says is a ninja. Nice. So the ninja. Oh, I know her. Yeah. No, the her. ninja guy. Oh, whoops. Maybe I don't know her. Okay. That weird shirt that says "Kill You." <laughs> yeah. I love him already. I'm gonna Google search this and fucking pretty legit. Tama Pai is actually pretty legit intimidating at first. Then power scaling happens. He's just become scared of Goku. But yeah, the, first there's the ninja who almost gets Goku um, by virtue of uh, having a whole bunch of ninja tricks. Oh, this guy! Yeah, that guy. Fucking, I love, I love this guy. 
Um, he just rides a Oh, yeah, he's the brother two. of Tien's master. Right. No, I, I've seen many pictures of this guy, and... Uh, fuck your physics. Uh, <laughs> treats. He cheats <laughs> using grenades on Goku. Oh, that yeah. He became a cyborg to deal with Goku, and so because Goku accidentally blew him up with a grenade. Oof. No, because like when Goku goes to the Red Ribbon Army, mm-hmm. they are not ready for him, and he fucks him up so bad. So the first guy he deals with is a ninja, right? So he's throwing throwing stars at Goku, and Goku catches him, right? Yeah. It's like, what do you want me to do with these? Because he's way more powerful. He's like, oh, and Goku for throws the them back. He does the tatami mat flips. Yeah. Unfortunately, his pores into the tatami mats. It's like shit. The fucking shark gets him there. <laughs> ah! He escapes from Goku. He's like, you can't find me. I could be anywhere. It's like, you're right there. What? Because he's doing, you know how the ninjas have the curtain yeah, yeah, flip yeah, where yeah. they hide? His is the wrong way around. It has the American flag up. It's like, I can see you. You're right there. Shit. It's supposed to be this way. Eventually, he tries to do like a jumping attack down on Goku. And Goku goes... With the, with the nimble. Oh, no. It goes kick. right up his ass. Oh, no. It's like, no. ha, da, ha, da, ha, ha, da, ha. Dude, you have a tail! Ha, 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 He's riding around, he bangs it into trees. <laughs> you gotta fucking watch that episode. Ah. Oh, you alright, Sam? The ninja was Murasaki, who had four or five brothers. Kid Goku had a legit, legit kill, kill count. count. Oh, yeah, he took no. guys down, not on purpose. Oh, Just oh. people really kept trying to kill Goku, and it did not work. Yeah, there were, there were points when uh, Kid Goku was uh, legit OP. He um, always was. Because you could shoot him and it wouldn't work. Yeah. Well, he kept... Right. I'm done. Ah. Not my hand? No. So, that is Andrea. Yes. And she has what looks like ICBMs. <laughs> <laughs> the first kill was his grandpa. Yeah. Look at that. That looks awesome. And her trick mode? In the rear. And the truck mode. And, oh, boops. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's all it? janky. I'm not very good at this uh, Tired? A little bit. business. So, yeah, here we go, Sam. But yeah, I got two robots done today. Woo! Good job, babe. I'm just going to put this down. The lady robots. Do you like your ladies? I do. I do like my ladies. All right, switch Concerned the camera. Red ribbon was tr- the... Switch one. Oh, sure. Switch camera. Oh. No, wrong, you wrong button. You turned it off. You turned it off. What? Oh. Hey, yeah. everybody. There you go. Hi. Hi. Sam got her robots. I uh, made some progress on my uh, crest type Oracle version armored core. I got the shoulders done for Gal Gagar, and I'll be finishing up his hands later. Oh, and I got a mini for uh, Starfinder done. Yeah. Uh, of a space elf, a spell. F- How many elf. Triple G members do you guys have to assemble in total? I have to finish Gal Gagar Genesic. Sam has... Everybody else. Volfog and Mike Sounders to do. And Big Volfog. And, and the rest of Tenryujin. Oh, Lady Sathian likes the hair. Thank you. But yeah. Because uh, I, cause, cause, uh, I started, Tenryujin I started is, conditioning. <laughs> Tenryujin is a combiner. So technically she's supposed to combine. I know that probably she won't as the robot forms, but her... Um, vehicle modes will actually turn into parts of the shoulders and stuff. I can't so, wait to see how big this gets. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> I got my Genesic 50 bucks and I can't wait for it to arrive. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I've got, because I have Gal Geiger himself, like the, fr- the first Gal Geiger, and then mm. I've got Mike Sounders in Full Fog, and then Big Full Fog when he gets here, because he's on his way, yep. and I'm very excited, <laughs> because... Because Ch- Chora Yujin is my baby. Big Volfog is... He's one of my favorites. <laughs> How many Starfire movies will you be getting, Dave? Uh, I saw that one while I was uh, perusing for the Kill Team books, so I just kind of grabbed it. Okay. Um, I'm looking for things to add to my uh, collection to act as, like, Lancer minis. And that, that would be a great pilot mini. Um, Are you happy with that? Yes. Oh, but uh, looking at the quality of the uh, the minis, I may collect more because uh, I'm not I'm I'm not a big fan of the Wiz Kids pre painted uh, Starfinder minis, uh, but these ones are really nice. So who knows how many I'll get? Yeah, Chloe is the pink one. Henri is the black one. Up in yeah. the air. 
But yeah, All right. The, the progress I got done on the uh, Oracle was uh, the shoulder blade, uh, not the shoulder blades, but the shoulder armor, because uh, there were well, a lot of parts. Well, that concludes this lovely Sunday of the craft stream. I thank you yeah. everyone for coming out and joining us in the building. I think we had a lot of There's fun, had a lot of good talks. Camera's over there. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are going to be calling it a night. I'm going to probably put up tonight the uh, survey in the Discord for a thing. Um... I have to pay <laughs> <laughs> for what will be the uh, the game for uh, thing. You all will pick what I will get to play, and we will call uh, it a night. Let's just catch up. Uh, da, da, da. Gundam robot models had their feedback in the togies. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. I love the uh, the little Gundam uh, action Ooh. figures that they sold everywhere. Mm. Um, I Sam is entering standby mode. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. Get excited. Get hyped for Cyberpunk. Glad to have you, Yon Fellow. Uh, Cyberpunk is next. Yep. Yep. Um, and uh, and uh, I don't know if we release our schedule. We did. Eventually. We, we at the start. Eventually, we're oh. going to have an actual calendar for you yeah. guys. So that Yay. way, you can, we'll have that posted up in the Discord, and that way you guys can actually look at the schedule and be like, hey, these are when all of the streams are going to be. Yep. Okay, yep. I'm doing uh, Lancer in September. Sam is doing. Uh, Vampire. Vampire the Masquerade. No, in... Requiem. Requiem. You're doing May Vampire too Requiem. Then. And in... made in uh, August? May. May. M- made in May. Made in May. Made May. May. Sounds uh, too organized for my taste. Tough shit, Jan Bell. Calendar. Madness. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm okay, going to call it. Request. I'm going to call it. Let's see it. Bye. Night off. Bye, everybody.